Good evening. Welcome to George Daniel Field. It's homecoming Friday night for the Lorraine High Titans as they host the Garfield Heights Tigers. Jay Ferguson, Tom Bauer, Joe Bach, Terry Trout, Club TV 20, and hopefully Parker Capronico will be along here in a minute. All here to bring you tonight's action, but before we get underway, we are going to begin the evening with the homecoming uh, the introduction of the homecoming court, um, and that'll be handled by Steve Cawthon. Just waiting for everybody to get in position, and we'll just send it immediately to Mr. Cawthon when we get the signal from down below. Well, first of all, they're the Bulldogs. First of all, Garfield's the Bulldogs. Bulldogs, not the Tigers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we won't make that mistake again. <laughs> and, 2022 Fall Homecoming. Thank this you to all those who have participated in this week's Spirit Day festivities and those who ran to represent each class on the homecoming court. With that, let's meet the Fall 2022 Lorraine High Homecoming Court. First off, the freshman representatives for the class of 2026 are attendant J.L. Davis and attendant Nalaya Whitfield. Next, representing the sophomore class of 2025, attendant Antonio Nieves, and attendant Simone Witt. The junior representative for the class of 2024, attendant Allison Laura. And now for the senior representatives for the class of 2023. First off, Kylie Adam and Trinity Gunder. Next up, Celestino Sibo Okendo and Layla Allen. And the final senior representatives for the class of 2023, Jeffrey X. Ramos and Jada McCall. Now let's find out who the king and queen are as voted on by the student body of Lorraine High School. Our second runners up are Kylie Adam, and Jayla Allen. Our first runners up are Jeffrey X. Ramos and Trinity Gunder. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Your king and queen for the class of 2023 are your king, Celestino Sivo Kendo. And your queen, Jada McCall. Congratulations to all of our attendants. And again, let's have a round of applause for our homecoming court for the fall of 2022 for your Lorraine High School.
Congratulations to all the members of the 2023 homecoming court, especially the class of 2023, Queen Jada McCall and King Sivo Okendo. And know both pretty well and can't think of two finer representatives for this class than those two. So congratulations to them. And we are about 20 minutes away from high school football as you see the warm-ups ending. And the two teams are going to go out for the center toss. We're going to step away and we will be back with the kickoff after these timeouts.
gentlemen, introducing the 2022 edition of the Lorraine High School Titans Marching Band. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of a Lorraine High School alma mater and please remain standing for the presentation of colors and the playing of our national anthem. Honor America, please stand for the presentation of our nation's colors by the Lorraine High School Titans Battalion, Army, Junior ROTC Cadet Color Guard. The Color Guard tonight consists of Cadet First Sergeant, Maciel, Cadet First Sergeant First Class, Goforth, Cadet First Sergeant, Mosier, Cadet Private, Ortiz, Cadet Sergeant First Class, Matos, and the Titan Battalion Color Guard is commanded by Cadet First Sergeant, 
McHugh. Remain standing for the playing of our national anthem by the Lorraine High School Marching Band and direction of Mr. Theodore Perhoon. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to George Daniel Field, home of the Lorraine High Titans. Lorraine City Schools, the superintendent, board of education, principal, and booster club of Lorraine High School would like to extend to each of you a very cordial welcome. We are pleased that you're here this evening to enjoy this exciting contest. Lorraine High School and Garfield Heights High School are members of the Ohio High School Athletic Association and abide by high standards of conduct, competition, and relations with member schools. The athletes in this game are friendly rivals. While play may be fierce, all in attendance are reminded this is a game between youngsters and that sporting behavior is expected by all. The officials assigned to this game have been selected and assigned according to procedures adopted by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and Lake Erie League. The officials for tonight's game are referee Tom Cooney, umpire Marlo Sams, head linesman Sid McKinnon, back judge Troy Bryant, and line judge John Koski. Ladies and gentlemen, the Garfield Heights Bulldogs.
Good evening. Welcome back. It's football time here. And what a beautiful fall evening on the last Friday of September. Tom, two teams with opposite records. Uh, one and five for the Titans, five and one for the Bulldogs. Uh, the two. problem is Garfield is on five winning, a oh, five game winning streak or four game winning streak. So, I mean, they've been coming along after their right. only loss. They, uh, they handled Maple Heights two weeks ago, a team that Lorraine was in that game till the final four minutes. Uh, and was unable to, you know, come back far enough. So tonight we will see what we will see. Parker Kapronica down on the sidelines. Thanks, guys. Uh, coming into this game, I just want to highlight Chase Davis for a second. Over the last two and a half games, the uh, lefty for a little over 400 yards, four touchdowns, as well as his mate in the backfield, <laughs> John Salomon, has uh, rushed for. Uh, excuse me, 127 yards game over the last three games. Now, this is surprisingly good. End of the year, 6-1 and one after a 3-7. and seven. We'll see if the Titans give them for their money. Well, the, the Titans will receive. Garfield will kick from left to right or from the north end of the field. Number 17, Tyrell O'Neal. Looks like he's the kicker in the lime green shoes. Must have a leg. The Titans with Hyro. Williams, number seven, and Osir Kimball, number eight, between the five and 10 yard line. Second line is Tylen Taylor and Noah Buchanan, 11 and 12. And we're just about set to go here. As soon as the official gives the ball to the young man, now it's game time. And this is this is the George Daniel that I remember, Tom. The the yep. nice fall, you know, before when football started after Labor Day, when it's a nice cool night where yep. your players don't cramp up. O'Neill marks some set, runs ahead, left the right foots it away, and we're underway. This is Kimball at the 50, 20. Makes a move to the sideline outside the 25 and out of bounds. Let's see where they marked him at about the 27 yard line, where the Titans will start for the first time. Uh, Tom, kickoff return strategy goes out the window when they pin you against the exactly, sideline. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Because you can't run into the middle where your wedge is because it takes you too long to get there. Right. And, and yeah. that's what, you know, that's by design. Yeah. Uh, you cut the field in half. Chase Davis is the quarterback, number nine. Back there with him? I can't tell. But we're I think it's John, isn't it? No. no. I think it's Raphael Hagler. Is that five or six? Oh, nope, you win. I just assumed John, it was five just because. John he's Salmon. There. He's the, the man who year. finally uh, got into the. Uh, the uh, Cleveland uh, uh, rushing uh, leaders, yeah. leaders there. Davis again with Salmon behind him to his right. Oh, they've got a little bit. There's a jump. Jump. Now we'll see. <clears throat> that takes you to a first down. <laughs> Confidently striding out with Evan <laughs> Rikovic, 65. He marched off the five before, <laughs> before the flag hit the ground. Got a kick out of that. He is the left guard, Shamey, Ramey Rowland, the left tackle. We'll get the rest as we go. Davis and Solomon are the backs. Di Bernardo, the wing back, that's where Solomon goes, and Garfield Heights was ready for that, and it's going to be no gain. Plays are Ryan. getting signaled in from the sideline. Rico Anderson is out 30 yards to the right with Hyro Williams inside of him. Near side is Tylen Taylor, 11. Ryan DiBernardo is the wing on second and a long nine. Davis going to throw for the first time. Look in pass, dropped. It probably wasn't going to go anywhere because Hyro went down to one knee to try and corral it. He would have lost a yard, I think. Yeah, it would have, uh, you know. That, yeah. 
So in any event, third and a long nine for Lorraine. Now they've been running a lot of wildcat football formations. But this is Davis again. Gives to Salmon on the counter. Salmon's got a hole across the 45. He's got the first down. He's across the, the midfield stripe. And the Titans will move the chains on third and nine. He gets 10. 11. Let's spot him at the 49 of the Bulldogs. Brian DiBernardo, the wingback, cut up and led him through there very nicely. First and 10, Lorraine. Chase Davis calls him out, has him set. DiBernardo in motion. Trips to the far side now, and we come against the formation. Salmon hitting the backfield. I'm going to get back to the original uh, yeah. line of Skimridge and maybe a skosh more, Tom. Well, I think now they have to try to accelerate that passing to that little short side um, because I see the, you know, they're giving him a big cushion. Zayden Martinez, number 50, has him over the ball, ready again on second and 10. Now Davis change points something out, looks to the sideline, changes some things. They go to the wristbands. They look over again. Single signaler tonight, Tom. Yes. <laughs> Scouting yeah. the sidelines. Davis is going to throw. Davis is going to run. Davis cuts it ahead. He's inside the 45 and hit right about there, knocked out of bounds. And down goes down, one of the striped shirts. Down goes Chase Davis, an official, and two <laughs> cones. Helped up by, you know, the host of yep. uh, the people on the bench for the Titans. That Third. was a nifty little move he made, a little spin that yep. didn't quite get him a, an extra yard or two, but it was a nice little move. I think it was the zone read, and he read it correctly He in – so correctly that I think he always, you know, didn't get yeah. the head start that he wanted to there. Picked up about four. It's going to be third and six. Ooh, there's, a, think... there's another jump. They didn't call him. He, I, he may not have gone into the neutral zone. I was going to say, you can't get back in high school. So he obviously didn't go across. Straight ahead, Salmon. There's the you, Chase Reed. pulls it. Chase is down to about the 41. Going to be fourth in a couple. Let's see where they spot it. Maybe that's set 42, but you know, okay, this, fourth and three. This is manageable. Well, this is manageable from the uh, 43. The Titans punting game has not been a thing of beauty all year, and there is a gale holding yeah. the flag up from the north to the south. I see a long count. They're hoping for that little jump again. Yeah. Well, this is when you, you put it on the second clap or something. It used to be, Tom, that you could, once you put your hand on the ground, yeah. you couldn't do that. They've changed the rules to allow for this. Snap back, straight ahead. Salmon going to not get not there, hitting it. the backfield and lost the yard. So it'll be first and ten, but it'll be for the Garfield Heights Bulldogs on offense for the first time. Titans pick up a couple before the drive stalls, and... Turn it over at their 43. I'd still keep the passing game in the back of my mind. I think oh. uh, I think they're giving a little bit of a cushion on the short side, not on the wide side. You've also got, yeah. you know, the wind is probably yeah. a factor down there. Yes, it's gusting. And gusting, right yeah. now the flag is hanging limp there, yeah. so it will pick up. Six... Five and one, Garfield Heights. I look at the size of the line that came out for Garfield. Yep. James Watkins, number eight, is the QB. Alongside of him is 34, Jermichael Benison, the running back. Wide receiver to the near side for Tommy Bean, and now joining him, Cameron Smith, number 10. Twins also to the left. Titans with the three down linemen, snap back, handoff in the backfield, breaking arm tackles, and getting ahead to about the 50 is Jamichael Benison. Titans on the spot, Noah Buchanan among others. I think that was uh, Solomon on the tackle here doing some defensive work also. Okay. Yeah, John has been most of the year as a safety when... 
when healthy yeah. and not fatigued. Yeah, because he's the ball carrier. I mean, he right. puts a, a heavy load on offense. Titans walk a linebacker up now to a four-man look. And <laughs> yeah. Jermichael Benson taken down by the handoff. <laughs> <laughs> as that was one of the zone reads, and there was some miscommunication, and they both had a handle on the ball, and down went Jermichael. That's one thing about the read. You know, you gotta, you, you have to practice and practice and practice and, that. And you can't be stubborn. If the guy's <laughs> trying to pull it, you have to let him. <laughs> so third and five. Titans with a chance, the first chance, to get off the field tonight on defense. Three-man front, trips to the far side. One one step drop, long pass. Oh, what a catch! Into coverage, but completed on a fine grab out there. Now the officials are talking about it. The Lorraine players are signaling they, yeah. incomplete. Yeah, Rico, I seen him wave, trying yeah. to wave it off, but the official uh, was kind of ignoring him at the time. Now they're moving the sticks. The player obviously. Looked like he might have landed on the ball. It was really a fine circus catch, and the replay will show that he did catch it. Uh, what we always said is knock the wind out of him. When you well, let's hope that yeah. that's what it. You know, he's down, and they're taking attendance. Well, the two teams come to the sidelines. Tom, is it too early to start talking about playoffs? Playoffs? <sighs> yeah, I tell you what, when you're in Division I and there's 16 teams go into the playoffs. And there's 17 in your division. <laughs> and you're ahead of two of them. So, yeah, you're you're The there. Titans are 15th in the division. Um, if playoffs started today, they would get a rematch with Cleveland Heights. And uh, if they go down one, they get a rematch with well, last, year's last year's St. Ed's. St. Ed's. Now, yeah. The Titans, the statistical sites, DrewPastor.com, has the uh, Titans as about a 96% chance to, to make the playoffs and almost 100 with another win. Snap back. There's Benison across the 20 to about the 18. We're going to give him, looks like we're going to give him about four. That's that gang tackling we were looking for. There was probably right. a few over there, but there's a lot of white shirts pushing the opposite direction. Yeah. This is going to be a challenge against their offensive line, the size of their offensive line against uh, uh, the Titans' defensive line. Cameron Sledge, 58. Julius Manning, 90. Two of the guys up front. I can't get the third number. We'll try and get them as we go. There's Benison cutting it back, and there's a gang tackle. I got him down at about the 15-yard line for third and two. Antonio Nieves is in there. Avery Martin, 32, looks like he's yeah. in there. 23, Jeremiah Lopez is one of the linebackers. Obviously a four-down setting. Big play, though, for the defense. And into the hole. Uh, he out of the tackle yeah. of Lopez, and it looks like he probably is about a yard short, judging from where this official on the near side had him. So it's going to be fourth and one. The Titans yeah. had fourth and three, and Garfield Heights had held. Now the yeah. Titans will try to do the same with 538 to go in the first quarter of this scoreless LEL tilt. Here's where I would like to see them load up the box. I would bet everything I have right here that they're going to run the ball up the middle. Now, I may be wrong, but that's what I well, would gamble on. That's the biggest line yeah. I've seen this year in the LEL. Yes. Yeah. See, but during that three-man line with a lot right. of blockers ahead of them, so, and there's their run up the middle, yeah. and they held him. Boy, hope. is it going to be close. It's how it's going to be first down, but let's yeah. see where they spot it. I see. Both teams are pointing. Well, that I was see. my best position in football, Tom. I was a real <laughs> good pointer. <laughs> yeah, they may have to bring out the sticks on this oh, one. I'm, I'm for sure going to guess that's happened. First time this year, I think we've had yeah. a measurement yeah. here at the George. And See, Lorraine was happy and ran, ran off because they pushed him back 10 yards but it's forward progress that uh, 
what we're going to measure for. One of the new numbers I see on defense, big number 69, Jalen Moore, a freshman out there with his hand on the turf. Now the Titans have their defense out there. And I think Lorraine's happy. Well, I, I think I, Lorraine's happy. I think the officials are really unhappy. This is going to be the index card. Card, yeah. Yep, you only have to get, you don't have to get past the stick. Even with the stick is a first down, and I'm guessing that that's, yeah. you know, that's what happens is we saw some kids who saw that the football didn't poke yeah. past, yeah. but it doesn't have to go past. So. Yeah. Check, check. Okay. Yep, hey, sorry, guys. Uh, so, actually, the spot was down. They were short, then the officials moved the ball up half an inch. Oh. Yeah. Starting the clock now, first and 10 at the 13. Rolling out to the near side, wanting to throw, letting it go. Complete. Rico Anderson on the play. Pass complete to 13. Dwayne du Duante Potts down to about the five, where it'll be second and three. Well, two a two in the air from Garfield yeah, Heights. Yeah. And that looked like something that they like to do right there. Worman, the quarterback, number two now. Benison on his side, gives to Benison. Benison goes into the blue, untouched for the first score of the game. Garfield Heights breaks on top with 4.18 to go on a five yard run by number 34, Jamichael Benison. And ball set down for the extra point. Kind of a muddle huddle here. They're going to go for it for the two, yeah. which doesn't surprise me. Well, they're Worm going to flood this right-hand side, but I think. Worman's yeah. going to roll. He's going to throw. He's got it. Number 10, Cameron Smith puts his hands up in the air. Yeah. And just like that, on their first possession, Garfield Heights breaks on top, 8 nothing. It looks like a little version of what Lorraine used to run in the old days. We used to call it extra point right. You know, it, yeah. and we threw a couple little screens in there. You know, throw a little you know it's, it's, really, yeah. it's really funny, Tom, because on third and three, most places on the field, high school teams look at that as <laughs> a, good a running, running play. play. Yes. But you put them on the three for an extra point, and all of a sudden, everybody's passing the ball. Well, you know why? Look, we used to do, when it was a three yards into the end zone, we used to have, a lot of times, nine and ten people on the line. Sure. Nobody, we would crowd up that box. So you had to throw it against us. We're in the middle of the field. You know, yeah. you've got all you have that to defend behind the field. you. Yeah. yeah. Good point. So, set to go again. Tyrell O'Neill will put it in play. Hiro Williams and Osir Kimball are deep for Lorraine. And I bet you it's going to go in down to that uh, left corner again. Yeah. That's what he's aiming for. Between the oh, oh. spinner. That goes out of bounds. We used to run that play, kick it to, <laughs> kick it to Coach Wilt. <laughs> we ran that play for a whole season. Now, we have three yeah. choices here. We can make them kick it again, take it at the 35, or take it where it went out of bounds. And I think the officials are going to talk this over, but it looked to me like it went out of bounds closer to the 40 than yes. the 35. Yes. And that would be a wise choice, I guess. I would guess that the 39 is better than the 35, so that's where we'll take it. And the first kickoff, they only made it back into the right across yep. the 20, so yep. they picked up 15 yards on this. So first and 10, Lorraine at the 39 on their second possession. Chase Davis and John Solomon are the backs. Ryan DiBernardo, the wingback. That's Solomon into the hole straight ahead. He's got about two behind the left side of... 
Yeah. I'm looking over on the right side. The the big, big gap they're giving uh, Williams at, in his slot position. If he can get a block from the wide receiver. Yep. DiBernardo changes sides, evening out the formation straight ahead again. Solomon makes a cut. Solomon's got a first down. Spins out of an arm tackle across the 50, where they're going to mark him at the 48 of yeah. Garfield Heights and move the sticks. So two possessions, two, advent, two ventures into opposing territory for Lorraine. And it'll be first and 10. DiBernardo puts three wide on the right. Now, this is something the Titans have done more recently is the get set and yeah. then turn and look. Now DiBernardo comes back to the near side. Straight ahead, Solomon breaks the first line. He's got about four inside the 45 to the 44. Solomon has that hitting the line as fast as I've ever seen a back. Well, he and yeah. you know he that that left side in particular with Rikovic and Ramey Rowland seems to be the side the, the, that they favor. Now Julius Manning looks like number ninety is in there at right guard, and Richie Davila the right tackle, number seventy one. Wants to throw, wants to swing. And that was just, he'd have been better off throwing it to the sticks as that swing pass was sniffed out in a big hurry. Yeah. And that's, that's scouting on tape. Well, I'm sure that linebacker is spying right. Solomon. And wherever he goes, you go. Yeah. Now it's third and 17. So 30. a complete pass, but we lost... 12 yards. See, that linebacker was their running back, too, Jermichael Benson. Yep. Yeah, I think I'm sure he's spying. There's a Cairo comeback. Williams. Yeah, here's There's a comeback. There's an illegal man downfield. It's not going to matter. Now, they can talk this over, and it's all about where the pass was caught. I mean, they definitely yeah. had men downfield, but if Hyro's behind the line of scrimmage, I don't There's think he was, though. I think he was a little a bit Sideline warning is the call. Yeah. So he must have been behind the line of scrimmage because I looked up and he cut back into the left side of the offensive line. There they are right there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fourth and two on a nice little nifty gainer there on third and real long. Now you've got everything. You've got the whole playbook. Garfield Heights is loading up the oh, box, look at, look expecting at the, box. the run. Look at the box, yes. That's where you got to go a little bit wide. you got to go a little bit wide. No, you or don't have you to. Or you just follow the yeah. big uglies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's credit the offensive line there, starting with Zayden Martinez, 50. And then, as we've said, Rukovic and Ramey Rowland and Manning and Davila. Titans again with two first downs on the drive. Minute 27 to go, first quarter, and they trail. Here's the play again. And look at the line fire. There's nice pull nice little by hole, Julius yes. Manning. Yes. He got his money's worth on that <laughs> one. <laughs> the trap play and how to block it. Straight ahead, Salmon running the contact down to the 30. That was one of the few times where John got thrown. He got hit when he was still straight up there. That doesn't yeah. usually happen. And what that tells me is he didn't see that one coming because he does a great yeah. job of lowering the pads. Second down, Titans with second and seven, 42 seconds to go as they bark them out. Davis goes up and tells the line the story. Yeah, Garfield is changing there, bouncing around on their defense. Salmon straight ahead, got a couple, and they're going to give him one yeah. inside the 30 to the 29. 17. Titans don't have to run a play here if they don't want to. Did a little wind blowing the other way. Uh, 
they don't need and a they're long not going pass. to as chase no. davis jogs it off to talk to the coaching staff we're going to step away end of one garfield heights eight lorraine nothing back with more after this Back here at the George, 8-0 Garfield Heights as we're set to start the second quarter. Parker, anything you see down there that you can bring us up to speed on? I see you, and I see you tapping, but I don't hear. Now I hear you. Hey, there we go. Hey, guys. <laughs> uh, no, nothing too much. Expect, as we've seen so far this game, a million and one carries from John Solomon to continue. Okay, Osir Kimball. And Salmon are the backfield as the Wildcat makes its debut for the evening. They ran this to mixed success last week at Maple Heights. Uh, Jump, but not off. Motion and the, no. the, the low snap doomed things, yeah. but I think they had sniffed it out anyhow. Again, that's going to be a loss of about six, four. Let's see where they put it now. I watched the box, and it goes back to the 33, fourth in, let's call it eight and a half. Yeah. I thought they might be running the jet sweep to high yeah. row there. If not, at least the fake the jet sweep. Yeah. Now Davis yeah. is back with Solomon next to him, flooding the near side, three to the near side, one to the far side. Chase drops back, Chase rolls, Chase throws, got a man, caught, high row! I think he made it over the 15. first down Titans. Yeah. High row Williams with a nifty catch at the 15. And the Titans will move the sticks into the red zone for the first down. Nice pitch and catch there yeah. by the couple of sophomores. It is. Very out. Very much. They'll spot it officially at the 16 where it'll be first down. You got to keep them off balance, you know. Right. And I'm looking over. Look at the left side on that trips. Yep. Solomon cuts behind him inside the ten, down to the five, and will move the sticks once again as the Titans are first and goal at the five, and we've got a bulldog down. That looks like five, Zachary Lupachka. Chase Davis spoke to him. Yeah, in a sportsmanlike yeah. manner. So. Tom, I, did, did you watch any of the Monday night game? No, I did not. Or the Thursday. I guess it was last night's game and the play with uh, Tua Tagovailoa. Yeah, yeah. I mean. <laughs> I heard him talking about that, uh, that he had a possible concussion, concussion last week. And well, he was, play. Yeah, yeah. And they, they evaluated him as for a neck injury on Sunday. Well, he got ragdolled last night. I didn't see that, no. And he went down. He was It was a clean hit, spirit of the rules. He, the, the defensive end took him around the waist and kind of spun him and, and put him back. Head on the ground. Shoulders yeah. and head first and second. And the, the pictures of him showed the, the his fingers were locked up in a, in a position that I, I'm thinking yeah. they called it like a tunnel spot wow. and, and it was all do that was you know the neurologists <laughs> online were going crazy with that man has a concussion <laughs> that's yeah. a sign yeah <laughs> well and they had to cart him off of I, I, oh I my seen gosh. that today yes. yeah 
And, and those are the kind of things that the people that run this great game throughout the country are going to have to figure out. Yeah. You know, this is... That's why they have a protocol for concussions Well, now. you know, the other thing is, Tom, the NFL did a lot of bragging in the offseason about the, the guardian caps that the yeah, Titans yes. wear for practice, incidentally. Uh, you know, making the practices safer. Well, if it makes the practices safer, how come you don't wear them for games? <laughs> Motion by D. Bernardo. Changing sides. Salmon following the, the trap again, but they were prepped for that one. And it's going to be maybe to the maybe a gain to the five. If we can get this outside uh, linebacker or outside receiver in a slot to block, I think that uh, that little zone read where Chase keeps the ball is going to work over here to the right hand side. I love Hyro, but Hyro's five five and 140, so he can get in front. Jet sweep. And Hyro yeah. taken down at the 10. Concept good, execution not so much as one of the gentlemen, the deeper gentlemen, came through there. That was your running back, yes. Jermichael Benison, and I tossed think, him down. Yeah, I think the Titans have been well scouted. Right, well. Yeah, because as soon as he went in motion, you seen the person covering him, he sprinted for the other side. They, they have that jet sweep scouted. Yep. Well, it, so that's why you have to fake the jet sweep and bring Solomon back in the op opposite direction. Well, now it's third and goal from the 11. It's got to be ball in the air time. And I would think twice if Chase rolls out. Chase wants the corner. Chase has got high row, but it's too deep. He's in the, he's in the long jump pit when he <laughs> caught it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well. Do they have a field goal kicker? This may be the time you do this. I think you're going to go for it go here. For it, yeah. Nope, now they're going to be take a timeout. They want to talk things over. And I would think that the reason you want to talk things over is because you're going to go for it. Um, if you talked about a field goal, you'd be talking about 28 yards, which is, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't, one of the things that's often, it, curious in my mind is high school coaching especially <laughs> because where do you have to be in your mind to kick a to field, kick goal? A field goal? Yeah. What, what, what is, what's the percent? What's the percent play to do this? Because you don't do it often enough yeah. to have a sense of how good you are at it, really. I mean, Reggie Johnson plays for the soccer team. And he probably shows up at practice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, our, our kickers way back in the day were all soccer players. Yeah. And they would show up. There was, uh, uh, the, Clay, the Clay boys, both of them were kickers. Uh, the like Summers boys. Matt but, Summers. Was, and they would only show up for uh, uh, kicking. And whenever they showed up, we kicked. Well, we're going to go for it. Chase Davis at the 11-yard lines barks it out after the timeout. Trips to the near side. Rico Anderson out wide on the far side. Now Salmon comes to the near side. Chase wants to throw. Chase lofts it out yeah. of the end zone again, intended for uh, Hyro on an in and out kind of look where they tried to send him inside and then back outside and had Chase throw it to a spot. Now there's a flag at the 20 yard line. And preliminary going to say roughing the passer. So what does that do to this situation? I don't think that anything is an automatic first down except a I, dead ball penalty. I don't think so. But so they're marking it off half the distance to the goal, takes it to the 10 instead of the 11, but it makes it fourth and 10 instead of fourth and Oh, no, they're going to make it a first. Okay, so. I never, heard, yeah. Somebody yeah. is wrong because last week that didn't happen. I didn't, yeah. It, uh, you know, it happened on almost the same part of the field, and it was a targeting call against, you know, that Hyro got laid out. And they called the penalty targeting, but didn't give them a first down. I remember the old, if you hit, you're punting with a 16-yard and got rough in a punter, you still had to punt again. Right. So 
first and ten, give straight ahead for not, not much. We've got to find a way to loose them up, yeah. uh, either outflank them or complete some passes. Well, I think Lorraine is a running team. Well, absolutely. I mean, you to, but, you know, I've seen running teams, usually they throw the ball out to the receivers rather than crossing patterns. This is a kind of the time when you want to have a little crossing pattern because they have all your outside receivers well covered. Look at it. Right. Them. Now they're all well covered. Well, you know, the, mid, the, inside, the, the inside man on the far side looks almost uncovered. Yeah, but they have two linebackers over there. They have two over backers the, over yeah, there. Yeah, they'll, ju they'll jump around. You don't know. See how he – There he did yeah. it. Yeah. They're into the oh. end zone too tall for Rico Anderson off his hands. There was a nice block back there. I didn't see what happened. Uh, Solomon picked up a blitzer. <laughs> yeah, nice. It wasn't Solomon. It was 30. Uh, was it 30? Okay. Yeah. Who was that? Uh, Mando Brown. Armand Brown. Okay. So, on third and 10. Faking. There's the slant. Rico had oh, that one oh, in, come in on, the Rick. hands and dro dropped it. He just didn't get hands ready. Yeah. His hands were upside down, I think, is, is what I would say as a layman. It looked like he had the top hand was where the bottom hand should have been. <laughs> yeah. And he, we'll look at it. And, and he, he, nobody's more frustrated than he, that he, yeah. knowing he could have had a touchdown. So, 8.27 to go in the half. Titans have had the ball for a long time, but it's fourth and ten. Chase lofts it. Got a man. Oh, did he, did he stay in bounds? Did he keep his toes in? That's the question. No. No. He's getting called out of bounds. Yep. Hiro Williams had it, and it was all about whether or not he got one foot down. Ask, the, and ask Parker. He's, he Parker, right you are him. right there. That was, that was a catch. Well, it was a catch, but did his toes stay in? That was an NFL catch, two toes down. In the lines. Yeah. And well, in high school, you only need one in. And... There's obviously no review here, so it'll be first and ten for Garfield at the ten. And we don't here have it is. This is a great replay. That's in. That's a catch. That's a catch. This is the time Joe always puts those. Uh, They're on the, it's on, on the, the scoreboard. Yeah. You see some people pointing. Uh, yeah. That you, Parker. That's a great call by you. You saw it live. That's a catch. <laughs> and uh, you see Titans on the field pointing to the screen. <laughs> you know what? Nothing. They're not going to change their mind. No, they can't change they, their mind. You know, yet. it, it, it it's against no the rules for them to change their mind. <laughs> There's no rule. Yeah. Well, yeah. well there hasn't been a snap yet. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. They're not allowed to use replay. Yeah, sadly. And, and well, no, I mean, it, these games are long enough. <laughs> well, we have a minute. Wow. We're going to take a minute to thank the, some of the young people that are here helping us get on the air and stay on the air. Drake Hans, Karen Gallegos, Devin Hood. From the homecoming court, Mr. Jeffrey Torres and Alyssa Tucker from Club TV 20. We appreciate you young folks. Giving up some of your yeah. Friday night to get us on the air and give us the shots like that one. And that was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful area. Well, I, who, I think that that was our special guest cinematographer, was it not, Mr. Bach? Was that special guest cinematographer Marquintes Graham on that shot? Yes, yes, it was. Yes. <laughs> the Club TV 20 alumni <laughs> are out in force tonight with Parker Capronica and Marquintes Graham on the sidelines. First and 10, Garfield Heights. They lead 8 0. It goes down as a stop and an incompletion in the books. Quarterback keep. This is Ben, their Wildcat. I mean, he's a yeah. he is a wide receiver normally. He just took it on student body right and got about six out to the 16, where it'll be second and Four. Now, this is a huge series for the Titan defense because yeah. you don't want to go in down two scores. Your offense just held the ball for about an hour and a half, it seemed. 
And it was and, a nice drive. And had, Beautiful you know, drive. had eight plays yeah. inside the red zone at least. And came away empty. Now you got to pick up your offense and get it back. Signals gives that's that's Benison. He's hitting the backfield. Gang tackle. Going to be a loss back to about the 13. So let's call it loss of three and make it third and six. This is the play right here. Yep, because this is going to be a passing play. I got to believe, you know, third and long. They're not, you know, yeah. you, you stop them here, they're not going to mess around this deep in their own end. Julius Manning comes back inside, giving Sledge a blow. Uh, they're calling for re reinforcements over his this is wide side. Whistle before the snap. I think we had somebody dancing before the music started. Yeah. And it Garfield. looked like it was Garfield Heights receiver out here to the near side. Got a little head start. Well, this changes strategy from a kind of little short sideline pass to maybe a little now longer the over the middle pass. Third and 11. And... Cameron Sledge returned, replacing Jalen Moore up front now. So they get some more, some of the more experience, taking yeah. more of the freshmen out for this play. 92, Tremaine Suttle is out there on the far end. Jeremiah Lopez, 23, is one of the backers. I think Tylen Taylor, 11, is the other. Trips to the near side, straight back, wanting to throw, getting hit as he released it. He's got a man uncovered is number four, Tommy yeah. Ben. Yeah. And that was just easy. Uh, you know, I hate to use that expression, but the quarterback got hit, but there was nobody, nobody yeah. there, there was no one in his line of sight between him and the receiver. When I say easy, yeah. he had a clean look at well, very that much, throw. Very much in the middle like that. Yeah. And Lorraine had a safety out there, but uh, that's why you use uh, uh, the spread formation. You got them spread way out. You can't have anyone helping. Gain of 38, puts them out on the 49, and they're in business once again. Benison hitting the backfield. Jeremiah Lopez was there, and he was not happy when he got there. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Also on that tackle, Noah Buchanan up from safety at number 12. Loss is about a yard. Second and 11. T.J. Williams, 17, back after missing some time with an ankle. And Rico Anderson out here on the corner. They go back to throw again over the middle. That time there was a collision. That was number, I think that was 20, 23. 23, Jeremiah Lopez just yeah. lit up Dwayne Duante Potts as the ball arrived for an incompletion, third and 11. Good clean hit. Yeah. He, I mean, yeah. he went shoulder to chest just as the ball. This is going to be a great look. Yep. Hmm. That's, what, that's why receivers hesitate going <laughs> yeah, over the middle yeah. <laughs> at every level of football. <laughs> Straight back, looking over the middle again. Got a man too tall. He was pressured, pressured. Intended from Cameron Smith. Great pressure by Julius Manning that time. And it's fourth and 11. Let's see. Garfield Heights sends out the punt team for the first time tonight. We're going to have a punt, it looks like, Tom. That's good. Titans give up the big play, and but then a hold. So Garfield will punt into the wind. Rico Anderson and Noah Buchanan look to be the deep men. Now there's a flag. They've called on Garfield for a reason? Well, I see Lorraine clapping. That's the only thing I... Well, I mean, he sure pointed that way, and it had to be... Was it something I said? <laughs> Let's see. 25 yards, so it's so, not sportsmanlike. Well, how many did they have? 
Maybe they had 12 lined up. That might have been a delay. I couldn't tell. No, well, that would be the signal for yeah. too many men lined up. Oh, is that up. too many? Okay. I, I don't know. There's a snapback. Punt is low. Punt is spinning sideways. Going to go out of bounds at about the 35. Yep. I'm sure that's where we'll start on the rounding off theory, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> First and 10 at the 35. <laughs> Lorraine with 544 to go in the half. Now, they've moved the ball on both possessions. A couple of first downs. Yeah. Uh the first time before a big loss on a pass play made it third and 22. And they picked up 20 on third down, but couldn't convert the fourth down. And then the second drive drove down as far as the five and had, I'm going to say they had 10 shots in the red zone and were unable to convert. They had some passes go yeah. off some people's hands and they had a bad break uh, on the last play with a uh, with a catch that from our vantage point looked like it was complete. Julius Manning coming in. He's going both ways tonight, and he forgot. Yes. Next. He's a freshman. No. No? Okay. Motion. There's a sweep. Solomon trying to get the corner, and it just take, took too long. The pursuit from behind is what caught him. Yeah, number 15. That was the ant. Aaron Cook. And I think if we see where Aaron Cook lined up, we'll see that he lined up on the far side of the, well, he's on the near side now on the short side of the formation. Well, he just, uh, the defense is too fast, I think, for that. If you're going to get outside, it's going to have to be the old yeah. pitch out. And we have that. Straight ahead, Salmon, nothing. Loss of another yard, going to be third and 13. Now, it's hard when you're a running team to say that you got to throw yeah. on an early down, but we're not going to yeah. loosen them up until we complete no, a pass exactly. yeah, exactly. that they're not expecting. <laughs> they're expecting a pass now. So if we complete this, good for us. But on first and 10, they're not expecting. They're expecting to see no, John yeah. Salmon. And that's what we've been given. Now, why do we do that? Because that's our best thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's, it's an easy yeah. game like that. Chase Davis fakes the sweep, throws it out to Rico Anderson, makes a move, cuts to the sideline, outside the 40 and out of bounds. I like that little play. Nice that was wrinkle. Nice little play. Yeah. So they got 10 on that, but it's fourth and three. I wow, this is this is a tough call. I don't think they're in four down territory. Myself, for the sidelines. Would, yeah. Because... Garfield gets the ball coming out, so you don't yeah. want to give him a chance to double up when you're already down no, I'd, eight. I'd, but yeah. they're going to send the punt team out finally. Now, I would waste a timeout here before I'd take a delay just because it's fourth and three. If, if they jump, I want it to be a first down, <laughs> not to be the yards we gave, just gave them. And we don't have enough. We don't have a punter. There it is. <laughs> Trevon Williams, 17. You can't lollygag. Timeout, yeah. Lorraine. Now, Trevon has been hurt. That's what the okay. confusion is. I didn't know that. Yeah, he is yeah. back. Uh, but he hasn't punted since the first game of the season. First two games of the season, I'm guessing. It was against Sandusky. TJ yeah. uh, started the season, got an ankle, missed some time. Back now. Now we're looking. We were, we were another one short. Now they're looking for David Whitaker, 39. Yeah, usually there's a coach on the sideline. Now the Whitt special team coaches keeps everything a play organized. So Whitaker is in the huddle, and Williams is off to the side. So let's see what happens here. Now we've got. Jail Diaz, 16. Yeah. I remember that name from a freshman game yes. not too long ago, Tom, that you and yes. I did. Mm -hmm. He'll be the punter. Three personal protectors. Good snap. Ball is away. Spinning kick. Driving. Ball out. Oh, ah, Titan yeah. ball. Yeah. Rico. Who is, let's see. That was number eight. eight. Osir Kimball was yeah. right there. Yeah. Ball hit receiver, Kimball hit receiver, ball hit ground. 
Titans recover. <laughs> you know, we watched Diaz punt in the uh, freshman game, and he never got, because he was, had that long, slow snap. Yep. Here it was a good It was a whole different. It was a varsity snap. He and got he, the ball off. And he got a varsity punt away. <laughs> yes, he did. How about that? So Titans uh, recover at the 25. We'll look at it here again. Maybe we can get the man who landed on the ball. Good snap, nice deliberate kick. Mistake number one, oh, he caught it with his fingers, but it didn't have it tucked in when Osir got him. And right there at the 25, all by himself, one of the Titans. Too much congratulations for me to see a number. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, but there's that Solomon up the middle. You're, he's still running. <laughs> your number is but a memory <laughs> on this tiny screen. Solomon's going to get about a yard, if that. They're going to spot him. Yep, at the 24, gain a one. You know, Tom, what part of what our your, your problem and I, my problem is, is we're so spoiled by all of the equipment <laughs> and things that we have, <laughs> yeah. and our old eyes can't have trouble making out the replays on the tiny screens. <laughs> Chase Davis calls it out, wants to throw, pulls it down and over the middle. Oh, oh. oh, Hangs it up where it was almost intercepted. There's a flag in the secondary. Is that a hold? Well, or a man downfield. Well, I don't see anybody downfield unless we lined up incorrectly. So, no signal. Well, maybe the man in the white hat signaled. No flag. Waved it off? Waved it off. Interesting. Yeah, I thought Chase was going to run that ball. But I then did, he too. Through, yeah. And, and, you know, the other thing with, with Chase when he takes off is remembering he's left-handed. <laughs> Intended for T.J. Williams. I think he caught it. Yeah. There's a veteran receiver move right there. TJ swim move yeah. over the defender and got inside, and Chase Davis put it right there. This is a varsity pitch and catch. From I would have called interference all the way down there. I think he was being interfered with, but made a great catch. With 3.20 to go, the Titans close it on a 24-yard TJ Williams. Got that inside, yes. you got that inside attitude on him. Chase Davis put it on the spot. And again, the Titans will go for two. Chase yep. Davis is all alone. Chase Davis is running pitches. <laughs> hey, O'Sear, here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get over the line and I'll throw you the ball. That looked, <laughs> that looked very drawn up. <laughs> you know, Chase. Yeah keeping his eyes downfield, and he saw number eight and had the presence of mind to realize yeah. that number eight was a wide, you know, was a receiver. And he's left-handed, so that was on his throwing side. Yeah. So. Here it comes on replay for all you people out there. Osir was originally in to block. And he converts. The two, and we're all tied up at 8-8 eight, eight, with 3.20 to go here in the half. Now you got to hold them. you got to play some defense because you know they're going to put the ball in the air, but they got three minutes. So And, and you mean, also know that, you know, they know and you know that they get the ball coming out. Yeah. So they know that a score here and the ball coming out gives them a chance to put you in a hole that you might not ever – be able to dig out. Parker, what's going on down there? Pure excitement. That's the uh, best way I can describe it. Everybody's on cloud nine right now, and now they're sending TJ Williams out for defense, okay. which was his initial purpose this game, and uh, yeah. found an opening receiver, and he made the most of it. Great. Well, we thought we were going to see him as a punter. 
And then we didn't punt. <laughs> or we did punt. They, <laughs> yeah, we punted with a freshman. Diaz, yeah. And recovered the punt. Reggie Johnson's going to put it in play on the far hash. Number 20, soccer player. And an exciting soccer player, I might add, having done some of those games. Gets the whistle, runs up, kick is away, and it's a bouncer. Down, ground ball down, still down. Oh, he's down. No, did they, they didn't call him down. He went down on the ball, but he well, may not he have had, had possession. He might not have had possession, possession. which is what I think, uh, that's what I saw. Yeah. He was on the ground, but he didn't have possession of the ball when he did. We'll see it again. Through the wickets there, took a high hop. Going down, but he didn't have it. No. He, you know, he wisely let it lay on the ground until he got up. That's a veteran play by Tommy Ben, who's hurt the Titans a couple plays tonight. As a receiver, now as a... And uh, as a Wildcat quarterback. So this is Noah Werman, the quarterback, number two. He's got receivers all out of the, over the place. Jet sweep. Cameron Smith run out of bounds, but... A decent first down gain of about five. And, you know, the clock is three. The clock is not a factor yet. Not a three minutes 3 to go. At 3.05 right. with two. Or they have uh, two timeouts left. But it's something to be conscious of but not let it affect your play calling. You can be who you are. Jam Jermichael Benison is the set back next to Werman. They're going to throw again. Winds it up, throws it out. Oof. No, I thought that was on possible interception there. Now, th there's the difference yeah. right there. Noah Buchanan was in line of sight. Yeah. And quarterback adjusted and threw high over the head of Jalen Davis because he saw Noah Buchanan yeah. in line of sight. Titans had that receiver bracketed inside or front and back. Now you got to watch over the middle now. Now they're going to run... Three, re four receivers to the short side. Three receivers to yeah. the short side. Got a tight end out here. There's that Looking crossing over the pattern. middle. There it is. First down. And that was just, Tom, exactly what you called for. As the receiver managed to get out of bounds and stop the clock to move the sticks. That was the tight end, Tommy Ben, on this side. Their wide receiver lined up at tight end, and he just let everybody clear out and then ran across yeah. and said, here I am, out to the 41 for a first down. It's almost impossible to cover that crossing pattern like that. You just hope a linebacker <laughs> can get in his way. Well, and, and it's, you know, when it's a tight end. That was a yeah. wide receiver lined up as tight end. Exactly. Now he's lined up 25 yards out <laughs> here to the near side. There's the jet sweep again. And getting greeted a little more rudely this time is Cameron Smith. Going to be held for no gain. And the clock will tick down under 2.30 as the bands get into position for the homecoming halftime show. There it is again, cutting it up. And one of the big defensive linemen got a hand and kind of turned it in. Second down yeah. and nine. Straight back. Got a man, got a gaggle out there. Ball up in the air, but falls loose. There were four men out there, two receivers. Yeah, and two defenders. And two defenders. Yeah, I like the That's how it's part. supposed yeah. to yeah. be. John Salmon was one of them, and Tylen Taylor, number 11, was the other. And... I don't think that's how you de designed that play, but that you, you know, yeah. passing plays usually aren't designed where everybody meets downfield. <laughs> no, you clear out unless it's the hail mary at the end of the half. Uh, here comes this trip to this side. Now we get to the wide side. They've got an operate. They're going to operate with three singles receiver out to the far side. 
Straight back. He wants to throw the bubble. He threw the bubble and it bounced. So, All right, Titans down. hold there. Pass intended for du Duante Potts. I like that name. Potts? Duante. Oh. <laughs> Fourth down and nine. And the Titans hold, and they'll get it back on an expected punt. Here's where you don't do anything foolish. You know, Rico like Anderson. Did. Yeah. You got to hold on to that punt. Yeah, the best thing that can happen at the end of most punts is that you have the ball. Yeah. Noah Buchanan have, you know, that's yeah. that's the most important part of the play. If they're going to give it to you, you have to have <laughs> take it. it. You got to take it. And There's that's no, what they yeah. didn't do and let us score. Snap is back. Kick is away. It's angled to the near side. It's going to bounce and oh, take check a nice up. One. Took a tight and bounce. Now rolls across the 35. Get away from it there. Yeah. Get away It'll from it. It'll roll dead at the 33. Yeah. Fernandez Johnson downs it there. Titans will have it. That was good decision making yeah. by the uh, re receivers getting out of the way. So the Titans have a minute 37 and a timeout to operate. We'll see what they want to do. Here's a case where you might run that jet sweep just to figure out how they're defending it so you can maybe sit down in the locker room at halftime and figure out what you got to do on offense to beat them. Because you need a jet sweep in this offense. Just so You've you, got to yeah. find a way to get outside yeah. the tackles. Right. And, you know, I thought we were doing that on the extra point play when Chase yeah. ducked under the, <laughs> the rush and did it and then found Osir for the, for the two points. So, Titans fresh off a score, 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, whistle, traveling. I think we had two receivers moving on. Both of them <laughs> got in motion out there. And that just can't happen. So it'll be first and 15. Now, I don't know if that changes the strategy or not. We shall see what we shall see. The fake the jet sweep. Chase wants it all. Chase is over, overthrew everyone. Salomon was on a wheel route. He had Di Bernardo yeah. down the, the stripe, and yeah, Chase just put it in an area where he's hoping yeah. uh, Solomon could get to. And also out there was two Rico Anderson. And again, somebody somebody was probably supposed to make a cut. Yeah. Someone got to go into the middle to hold that safety. Huh? Well, play signaled in, minute 32 to go, second and 15. I would not be surprised if we see John Solomon with the ball here. He's your biggest weapon, right? Yes, he is, and I would. And, and the clock, you, you have to play the clock. You don't want to give it back. Nope, they're going to throw. D Davis is on the run. Davis is in trouble. Davis gets it downfield and tosses it to a Garfield Heights coach, which was a good move i think there's a receiver close enough out there so they have to call that i was yeah. a legitimate pass and but there are no flags but it is third and 15 and the clock stopped at 124. Yeah. see it might have been smart to run the ball up the middle and hope garfield doesn't call a timeout to stop well the clock. and even if they do yeah that's one less they have to use later so now it's third and 15. Now, if you keep the clock running this play i and don't get the first down, I assume they're going to call timeout. If I was Garfield, I would. Whistle. Flag now. Dead ball. They did call the. I think they have. They have. He's calling. It's an. It, I'm it, not sure what the signal was. It's definitely on Lorraine, and I think it's. Hand behind, two hands behind two the hands back. Two hands behind the back means intentional grounding. No, 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 no. no. It was dead. This is dead ball. This is long after okay. the play, and this was definitely on one of the receivers out here. Whether we had too many, we were lined up off. I, I, I'm at a loss. Yeah, me too. One of the things I miss is the old high school program with all the officiating <laughs> signals in it, Tom. I got one for you. Yeah, but I, I'm going to guess that they're not <laughs> they in there anymore. But these, that's back in uh Oh, there you go. That's 70. from 1970. <laughs> uh, 
We have a better chance of having it in there, but they probably didn't have that call. So whatever it was, it makes it third and 20. Now, Davis is alone in the backfield. Salmon comes back next to him. Davis runs up and tells the lineman, we're going to give it to John. <laughs> Takes the snap and does just that. Salmon gets hit at the line, gets ahead for two. So it's going to be fourth and 18. Timeout, there, Garfield there's Heights. There's a timeout. As we knew would happen. And that's that's the downside of, of putting the ball in the air at that position. Yeah. And then, you know, now they have a minute 17 to work with. And still one timeout. And still one timeout, and they're going to get the ball. And one would expect yeah. that they're going to get it around midfield. Now, the first and most important thing, and, you know, Jim Trussell would say this is the most important play in football, the punt, because it's the one play in football where a lot of yardage changes yeah. each play. And if you're the punting team, the most important thing is that you get a kick away. And that's, you know, the Titans, the, you know, the, the snap and the mm -hmm. blocking and the kick. And then you have to cover said kick. And if you're Garfield <laughs> Heights, you got to catch. You've got to make sure that you end up with yeah. the ball. <laughs> they didn't the last time we punted. It's, this is uh, Diaz again. This is Diaz, JL. JL Diaz. Success so far. Back is Tommy Ben. A lot of respect for the leg here as they come for it and they it, get a piece. It's not a bad. They got a piece. So it's going to go out on the bad side of the 50 at about the 43. With a minute 10 to go. So you got 70 seconds. You got to hold them. Snap. Well, the clock didn't start. Because I thought we had a minute 10. I can't remember. When it was yeah, stopped yeah. after the, no, after the timeout. A minute 17 when they called I don't know. Out. But. Yeah. In any event, 70, I had 70 seconds in my mind, which is, yeah, there's a lot of room in there. So first and 10, Garfield at the Lorraine 43. And I'm going to say that that punt was partially blocked. They sent everybody but the, the drum major. And, and Ben's. Yeah, and Ben, <laughs> who was 40 yards downfield, <laughs> saying, I hope I don't have to play this. So now Werman's got him out. He's got Benison next to him and the whole playbook to look forward to. Motion. Straight back, wanting to throw. Hit. A bubble screen. Ben. Ben into the middle of the field. Ben inside the 30 to the 27. That'll stop the clock while they move the chains. Garfield hustles up to the line. Now this is one of the things that, that you do. This is knowing how to win. Yes. It's getting yes. set quickly and they are they got the you play know, called and all and yeah they, they're ready yeah. to play with a minute two and now the clock has just started again downfield got a man that may be an interception uh, boy it, it was Solomon uh, had the best shot yeah. at it he had a man down there I'm going to believe that it was Ben no it wasn't because it no. didn't oh maybe I see the green gloves now uh, we had him back. Yeah, we had him bracketed yeah. again, and Solomon got a hand on it to knock it away. It was definitely Ben. Yeah. The other re the other defender, number eleven, Tylen Taylor, is the one looking at his hands. But the clock is stopped with fifty three seconds, second and ten. Again, over the middle, got a man. Into the hole, guess who? That's Ben. Ben cuts it up, stays in bounds at the five. They stop the clock to move the sticks. Quarterback is coming off with Werman, immediately went to the sideline to get the play. 42 seconds, clock stopped, chains just getting set. The ball is at the seven, and they're ready to go to the line. So they lost five seconds getting that play in and getting to the line. Well done. Berman, rolling, rolling, looking, 
wants to throw, throws it into a crowd, but it's a white shirt that ended up with it. There were a lot of shirts back there, yeah. but there was nobody around. Duante Potts for the seven-yard touchdown, and that's a backbreaker. Well, you hate to be critical, but had they, they – I knew they were being aggressive because they were – when they had the ball down in their own territory, they were trying to score. They were trying to do something. Had they – Thought it out, maybe they would have just well, ran hind, the ball. Hindsight's 50 50. Oh, yeah. Ran they, the ball a couple times yeah. just to run the clock out. What? Faint heart never got fair lady. Yeah. So. This is our Benison straight stopped ahead. Him. Not stop yet. Him, we stop have him, the stop scrum. Him. That ball is out. And we did stop him. That takes the score to 14. 14 to 8. Garfield with 21 seconds to go in the half. And now, barring some unforeseen long play, Garfield Heights is going to have a chance to double up when we come out in the second half. The Titans will have to kick off to them. Now, Garfield's kickoff game has been interesting. The first one <laughs> pinned us to the sideline for, you know, a limited return out to the 23. The second one almost decapitated a coach, <laughs> and we got the ball at the 39 because it, where it went out of yeah. bounds. I thought so he was trying to squib it. but It, it looked uh, like he missed. Yeah. Uh, you know, be generous. Um, now we'll, we'll see what the plan is here. 17, Tyrell Taylor is the kicker. He didn't take a big angle for a soccer-style kicker. I mean, he is maybe a yard yeah. offset. So he's almost taking a straight-on run where I think he has to kick the ball, you know, on an angle. Yeah. Yep, there's the end over end boot, bounced up, picked up there, up the middle, across the 40, across the 45, out to the 47 comes Noah Buchanan, number 12. So with 15 seconds to go, and the Titans have a timeout. Let's now. This is a better. This is a yeah. better place to take a chance, right? Now, yeah, you're not on the 20. You're on the uh, on the almost the 50. And if you could stop the clock. Well, you, you got a timeout. Yeah. You're 52 yards away in 15 seconds. Now this, you know, this, if we pick up a first down here, sense of urgency with what we need from the offense getting to the new line. Fake the jet sweep. Chase is in trouble. Chase is spun around and ragdoll down at about the 42. Now I think he just picked let right the, up. Let the clock run out. That yeah, was Duran Black seven, and I don't think we're going to run another play. So we've played yeah. two at the George. Garfield Heights 14, Lorraine eight. Back with the bands after this timeout. What kind of Titans are we? This is a question we have to ask ourselves every day as we walk these halls. In Lorraine City Schools, we are passionate about kindness. We believe one simple act of kindness can start the movement that changes the world around us. As a school, our positive behavioral intervention and support approach, or for short, PBIS model is rooted in kindness. Our goal as a school is to increase our students and staff's kindness to self, kindness to others, and kindness to our environments. When we increase kindness in our school, we will decrease the behaviors that interfere with the positive environments we want in every school in our district. Let's see what that looks like in our buildings. The expectation of kindness in our school starts the moment you begin your day. Upon entering classrooms, it is important that we remember to be on time, be prepared and have technology and supplies ready, 
be engaged and maintain a clean classroom. Our Titan expectation to be kind to self, kind of others, and kind to our environment extends to the hallways, in our restrooms, in the main office, in the cafeteria, and on school transportation. Our staff will be here to model, teach, and reward positive behaviors with the goal of creating a school culture of kindness. That's because the common expectations are designed to be the standard in every classroom and every school in Lorraine City Schools. Titans, we know you can do this. Let's show the world what kind of Titans we are. band would like to play some anthems that support women and their abilities to be strong, independent, and accomplished. Please put your hands together for Independent Women by Destiny's Child. are all to you. The tune is energy packed and full of passion. I hope that you enjoy this next selection. In fact, I'm confident that you will. After all, what's wrong with being confident?
do your hair toss, check your nails, and ask your neighbor, baby, how you feeling? Because this is good as hell. Thank you so much for coming out tonight and showing your support. We'd love to see you at our band spectacular scheduled for Friday, October 28th at the Garfield Heights Performing Arts Center. We hope to see you again real soon, and as always, go Bulldogs! Ladies and gentlemen, Lorraine City Schools proudly present the 2022 edition of the Lorraine High School Titans Marching Band. Under the direction of Ted Tahune and assistant band directors, Matt Gerhardinger, Chiquita Jones, and Julie Garcia. Our volunteer percussion captain specialist is Chris Wilton. The band is led on the field by drum majors Janiah Johnson and Philip Calvillo. For our first selection, we're going back to 2009 with alternative rock band Muse. Here is Uprising.
Our next tune is international recording artists, The Weekend. Here is Save Your Tears. Our final piece is by platinum artist Dua Lipa. Enjoy, break my heart. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for the Lorraine High School Titans Marching Band.
What kind of Titans are we? This is a question we have to ask ourselves every day as we walk these halls. In Lorraine City Schools, we are passionate about kindness. We believe one simple act of kindness can start the movement that changes the world around us. As a school, our positive behavioral intervention and support approach, or for short, PBIS model is rooted in kindness. Our goal as a school is to increase our students and staff's kindness to self, kindness to others, and kindness to our environments. When we increase kindness in our school, we will decrease the behaviors that interfere with the positive environments we want in every school in our district. Let's see what that looks like in our buildings. The expectation of kindness in our school starts the moment you begin your day. Upon entering classrooms, it is important that we remember to be on time, be prepared and have technology and supplies ready, be engaged and maintain a clean classroom. Our Titan expectation to be kind to self, kind of others, and kind to our environment extends to the hallways, in our restrooms, in the main office, in the cafeteria, and on school transportation. Our staff will be here to model, teach, and reward positive behaviors with the goal of creating a school culture of kindness. That's because the common expectations are designed to be the standard in every classroom and every school in Lorraine City Schools. Titans, we know you can do this. Let's show the world what kind of Titans we are. Back here at George Daniel, set to start the third quarter. The Garfield Heights Bulldogs lead the Lorraine Titans 14 to eight. We were tied at eight and Garfield got a late one with 21 seconds to go in the half. Uh, off a short field on a, on a partially blocked punt, Tom. And now they get a chance. Now, that, now it's pressure time on the Titan defense here. Exactly, because you don't want them to go up two scores. Exactly, yeah. because no, no, no. You have to keep them this game real close. Right. Just to keep your spirits up. You know, Lorraine has been down so often. You know, all right. of a sudden you get down by two. You start seeing a few you, heads you know, hang. You, you, last week they were in the game with four minutes to go. There's a There's a bouncer. Poocher. That's going to bounce over his head. Through, 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 and down at inside the 20 yeah. at the 18. Nice kick, Reggie. Yeah. I thought it was going to bounce. You know that last. You know that time turf, <laughs> the turf bounces. You you can't. You know that was. Yeah. You, you know, <laughs> placement. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you got it inside the twenty. Uh, you didn't have the tension of a potential return, <laughs> and you had the ball bouncing loose with you within ten yards of it. Yes, very close. You know that's a live ball, unlike a punt, as we. You know, always want to remember. I saw a game, a college game last week where somebody, the receiving team, took an onside kick the length of the field for a touchdown. You know, on a bouncing yeah, play like yeah. that, it bounced up to the end man and he just took <laughs> off. <laughs> so here we yeah, go. Yeah. Worman has Potts. That it bounced off of one receiver onto yeah. the hands of another receiver. That's how you get to be yeah. six and one. Yes. <laughs> Lucky. Or five and yeah. one, I guess. 
let's not credit them for this one yet, is when things yeah. go right. And here it is. Awful. Uh, th the first guy played defense. <laughs> Cameron Smith, that yeah, was yeah. not intended for you. He made the catch harder, but it got there. Straight back bubble screen too far and out of play. I think Lorraine played that nice. They attacked the blockers. Right. They didn't get blocked downfield. They were blocked closer to the line of scrimmage. And there's there's the, the rule that enables the, the bubble screen is if the receiver's behind the line, Blocking. everybody else can block. Block downfield is allowed. Yep, and that's what you saw there was the two bigger wide receivers, if you will, trying to, trying to block for the little fella. So third and three. That's... Stood That's up a, right there. That's a nice play. Now you don't get forward progress because he kept running. I don't. I, I think he's going to be spotted at the line of scrimmage. See now, he was being. I, I but, thought he got loose, but he was trying to run back. I thought he got yeah. yeah so they're yeah. Gonna, in any event. Yeah. Fourth nice out. job by the Titans three and out. That was huge for the momentum in this game. If I seen it right, I think. Le Jabron Smith was the initial hitter on that. Is he on defense now? I don't know. I think he is. I seen a 10 out yep. there. Yep. So, punt formation. Into the win. Titan has double setbacks at the 50. Punt is away. It's a floater, and it's having problems with the win. Picked up there. By Rico Anderson, going to make something out of nothing. Going to nice. get 10 yards and out of bounds at the 40. <laughs> And there's a flag. <laughs> and this man dropped this flag like it was a dirty Kleenex. <laughs> he didn't throw it at anybody. <laughs> now we wonder what it was down. Uh, illegal blocking. I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess it might be side. Oh, personal foul waved off. Declined. No. Okay. No, I don't think it was waved off. I think it was. I think he was signaling what happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that embraceable uh, <laughs> signal is where he looked like he was trying to give an invisible man a hug. But it's going to take the Titans inside the 30 when all is said and done. Now, if I'm sitting in the locker room at halftime for Lorraine, I'm thinking, okay, defense, you've got to come out and get us a three and one and then we can get the yeah, offense yeah. in position to do something. Well, the offense is inside the 25 to start this first drive. Down 14 to 8, and Chase Davis has him set at the 23. Salmon, that's DiBernardo in motion. Three receivers to the near side. Now John follows Ryan DiBernardo, gets a block, gets the what at, served as the corner yeah. uh, down to the 20, gain of three. In the first half, he was taking that ball right in between guard. Now he tried to break it a little bit outside. Yep. And I think that yeah. probably was an adjustment. They're going to yeah. only give him a couple. So it's going to be second and eight, put him a little bit behind the sticks. Titans certainly, barring a catastrophe, are in four down territory here. Well, look at the slant from that inside man wide open. Chase is going to follow John Salmon. Yeah. And he gets inside the 20 to about the 17. So they've got to get to the 13. They're on the 18. So third and five. Well, two plays yeah. that pick up five yards will do it for you. Because they're in forward down territory. Yep. So uh, I don't know. There's a signal from, from um, Anderson to the coach. Can you see that slant? Yeah. Is that wide open? It sure looks that way to well, me. Well, 34 sneaky. See, they, yeah. yeah. And they're, oh, into traffic. That was one of the bad, that was one of the first times yeah. where Chase Davis has maybe had a bad read on something. Is that yeah. he, he was looking away and didn't get his vision set back down where he knew he wanted to throw it to see the number of, Bulldogs. Now there's a flag downfield on about the 13-yard line. It's a legal man downfield. Okay, they're going to yeah. decline it. Thanks, Parker. Yep. 
Parker, we got to put a, a beacon on you or something. I can't have trouble finding you. <laughs> you know, at that nice blue park. Uh, you know, he's behind the pole. hoodie if me. you can find it, buddy. He's behind the hole for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's practice for tomorrow night when I sit in B-deck for the Buckeye game <laughs> and have to look around the pole. So fourth and five. Titans need one here. Davis rolls. Davis throws to the corner of the end zone. Intercepted there, intended for Hyro Williams. It'll probably be a touchback. It'll be a touchback. It'll come out to the 20 instead of the uh, 18. So it cost Garfield Heights two yards. It looked like Jack Kez Lawson come down with it. And kind of the right idea, but if you're going to throw it up to grabs, you're throwing it up to the smallest guy you've got. Yeah. yeah. There, well. You know, personnel issue maybe we ran this same kind of a pattern early on for our first score and tj williams who's about 6-2 made a nice adjustment on the ball and and was able to do that high row is 5-5 five, five. <laughs> <laughs> and quick as quick as all get out but when it comes to jump balls he's going to be at a disadvantage so garfield heights holds and takes over so now they have the momentum back, but an 80-yard field. Motion. In behind the motion, this is 15. Aaron Cook for the first time tonight. Gets out near the 25. Gain of about five. That was a nice tackle. Uh, right at the 25. Is that Tavon Williams? I see yeah. out there on a tackle. Nice. nice held yeah, on. TJ, held on, 17. Yeah. <clears throat> He's played, well, I think the only play he really played offense was on the touchdown catch. He's been out there yeah. mostly at defense as kind of that slot yeah, the outside corner, linebacker, inside yeah. linebacker. They walk him away. Bobbled snap that time. They get the pass away still and almost a completion. Well, they put a lot of heat on that quarterback. Was that uh, Solomon? Uh, I see back here putting, <clears throat> making I, the quarterback hurry. I, I think it is. It, it, that's the John like Salmon walk. Yeah, he walks like him. <laughs> <laughs> On a safe, from his safety spot, came in, pressured, and com combined with the tough handle of the snap, the ball bounced off the quarterback's hands. So fourth, third and five. Titans held on third and six just a moment ago. Looking to pile up a couple of three and outs. Rolling. Under pressure, hit as he throws, knocked away. Good defense yeah, yeah. at both ends. That was Solomon <clears throat> on the coverage and in the backfield. They're putting a lot more heat on the quarterback this game yeah. than uh, they had in the past. And you can see the effect in that. Well, and it's yeah. some guys coming from some different <clears throat> spots. Solomon was rushing the passer that last time. This was Osir Kimball from his linebacker spot. And the Titans force another three and out. Yeah, Osir came through untouched and still a nice throw that was on target, but good coverage at the other end broke it up. So at fourth and five, Garfield has a six-point lead and no sense of adventure. And there That's was interesting. <laughs> High kick floating, blowing backwards, hit it about the 42, going to roll around and picked up at the 40, looks like about the 48. Let's see, depends on which man spots the ball. I think we're gonna start first and 10 at the 47. So good field position again, not what we just gave up inside the 20, but on the positive side of the 50, once again for the Titans with eight minutes exactly to go in the third quarter. 14 to 8, Garfield Heights on top on a touchdown with 21 seconds to go in the half. They got to figure out how they started this game with Solomon up the middle. Remember the nice runs he was making well, there. They, so. they've, they seem to have adjusted yeah. to that, but that's still your, your bread and butter. Now, you know, we talked in the first half about got to complete a pass early in, yes. in, in the uh, set. Look at their walked up on our receivers. Oh, that was going to be the fake to John Solomon, keeper, and it lost three. 
and it just never had a chance. You know, uh, one thing I got to give uh, Garfield credit for, they're disguising their defense because they, they look like they're in one coverage, and all of a sudden people are adjusting. It well, looks like somebody's open. All of a sudden that person creeps back or, or, or slackens off a little we, bit. We used to call it the old LEL defense <laughs> where we're going to send one more than you can block, and that seems to be what they've gone to as Salmon gets back yeah. to the plus side of the 50 to the 48. But it's going to be third and 11 real quick here. I got to believe this is a passing down, third and a little over 10. Right. Who's calling in the plays over there? Coach, M Coach Mooney. Mooney? Yep. Is signaling them in. Remember in the old days, they, they the used to, uh, previous games, had two or three people signaling in there. Right. Well, Tom, I mean, uh, <laughs> it, it, messenger guards are ancient history. <laughs> yeah. And I'll never forget. Yeah. I'll tell you a story about sending in plays. After this, as Davis swings it out to Solomon. Nice, nice, Solomon, nice, nice catch. catch. Got blockers, first down and more inside the 30. That was a beautiful pitch and catch. Yeah. John Solomon made a nice play. Chase Davis made a great throw because that's a tough pass to throw. Yes, it is. And especially to your strong side because you really yeah. have to get turned. And he did a good job of that and led – led John down the field, and those blockers, because the ball was behind the line, they can leave, and they did. First and 10 at the 27. Oh, that's and now it's going to be first and five at the <clears throat> 22. Yes. James Watkins came up a little bit quick there. We wind the clock with six and a half to go third quarter. Chase Davis wants the signal again and runs it up and tells the lineman. Throws it out to the near side. Hyro Williams down to hey, put his the hand on a 16. Oh. Let's see where they mark him down. Well, Tom, he got hit last week, and I he got up <laughs> from a hit that I am yeah. amazed. I mean, and it was called targeting. Ball is down at the 17, which looks like a first down to me. Now they're going to measure. Based on yeah. where we started, we were just short of the 27, and now we're just past the 17. Well, anyhow, my mess. here's my sending in the plays. <laughs> it was a freshman game I was watching from the top of the stadium on the other side. They were playing behind the stadium. They just moved the sticks. No they measure. They did. They did. They did. Chase never had a chance. Nobody bought the fake. And Chase is going to lose four. Five. And now, you, if, you, if you watch the replay, that defensive end played that absolutely yeah. perfectly. He penetrated. He stood in a ready position <laughs> and saw that you know, let the fake man go. Go. Yes. And yes. Was Johnny on the spot? It, somehow, you know, it was the it was the old we send one more than you could block play. Look at all those people out to the far side. Davis swings it out to Solomon again. That oof, that's a little tougher catch, and that shows the difficulty of the pass. So I'm watching the freshman game from the top of the stadium, and I see that the coach for a local team <laughs> is sending plays in, and. As he's doing that, I start to notice that he's writing, as he <laughs> does. And then I'm noticing that as the team leaves the huddle, there's these little pink note cards, balls on the, on the ground, for want of a better turn. So I watched the whole game. Here we'll get it in third and 13. It lofted up. That's underthrown and incomplete. He, he had Rico out behind. The uh, yeah, if that defender. was if that was an inch higher, it would have been yeah. over his hand. So they were sending in so, plays. With so <laughs> I look, I go down after the game and I said, Coach, I said I watched what you were doing. You know, I went over and I picked up one of these things. I said, What is this? He said, We have a tough time remembering the plays, so I write them on Post-it notes and send them in. 
<laughs> and, and the kid takes the post-it note in, hands it to the quarterback. The quarterback calls the play and then balls the post-it note up and puts it on the ground. So, I, you know, aside from littering, it was a very effective way to get plays in. Yeah. Fourth, oh. fourth and 13 here. Obvious four down territory with 4.30 to go in the half. You know, the Titans have now had, this is their second chance here, you know, in the red zone-ish areas. They were on the 18 to start this possession here. And big play time to come up with something. Upstairs. As... Uh, They look to even things up here. They're talking it over. You know, now one thing we haven't looked at is the single wide receiver to the far side. After they isolate everybody right. else on the other side with trips. And yeah. You know, I think that's what he was trying to get to to Rico, and he's alone over here again as the gaggle goes out to the far side. Taylor, D. Bernardo, and Williams. That's Hiro Williams are all out to the far side. Davis and Solomon in the backfield. Tight splits on the line. Now Solomon goes out there. Rico's definitely one on one, and they put it up for him in just oh, two. Wow. Oh, my, my goodness. goodness. You called the play, and it was perfect. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. It was as open as Denny's. Yeah. It was perfect. Just a little more air. Mm -hmm. And the Titans give it up on downs, and Garfield Heights takes over this time on the 21. Last time they took it over on a 20 after, after the touchback. The interception, so. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Rico's going to be seeing that ball. That's a that's kind of a timing play. It is. Yeah. And, yeah. And you know, I actually want to get your guys' opinion on this. So that was the second time they ran that play in a row. And I'm just wondering how you guys feel about double moves on the high school level. Time? Yeah. Time, yeah. time, time. I mean, it, it, he's not having a lot of time. I don't think he has time to make two reads most times. I think it's his first receiver or straight ahead for about eight on first down is Benison. And, you know, one of the things with that, uh, Parker, is sophomore quarterback. But I, th I, I think you're right, though. Uh, uh, by the time that receiver makes his little cuts and makes that, they're, they're putting a heck of a rush on him. And, and you know, he's got, you know, it, I love his arm. He's sophomore. He's, you know, he's going to grow into that job. And, and you know, next year, you know, with a year's growth, maybe he's going to be able to look for some second and third options, given the backfield of best. That's... That was Manning was first one on the spot. Cameron Sledge there along with 23, Jeremiah Lopez. Losses back to the 25. And that might be Shuttle. 90, 92, I think, made that the could tackle. very weak. Tr Tremaine wow. Suttle was also yeah. in on it. So now third down and six. Titans again look to force a three and out. And again, get forced Garfield to punt into the wind. Third and six. They need the 31. They got their big Ben receiver over here on this side. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's going over the middle right yep. now. Tipped away. Oh, would have been a nice interception. Nice play there by <laughs> Jeremiah Lopez under the route and knocking the ball away from Cameron Smith. And the Titans' D again holds. I think Fourth we, in six. We mentioned that Jeremiah Lopez. I think I seen his name in the uh, chronicle for tackles. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see some Titans moving up in, yep. the, in their rankings. That's why they put him in the paper. Yep. Rico Anderson and Noah Buchanan deep. But they don't have a punter near yet. Here yeah, he comes. Yeah, here he comes. And it's still 17, Tyrell O'Neill. Boy, he's got all kinds of hand stuff on there. Those <laughs> gloves are taped or what, but. Calls for the snap, gets a clean one, kicks it away, angled kick. Going to bounce, going to 
picked up there. Noah Buchanan saved a few yards. Because it would have rolled for another 10. Oh, instead of the yeah. 30, we're at the 45. Yeah. Because that ball was going to bounce. Remember Tyshawn Lighty? He told me one time he doesn't like to catch the ball because he has to look up. He likes to let it bounce. <laughs> so he could, I said, I've never seen a, a punt yeah. returner let it bounce. But he liked to do that. But you know, he scored a couple of punt returns. Well, he's so quick. He yeah, was yeah. so quick. Yes. That, that, the extra distance wasn't as much of a, you know, <laughs> yeah. the, the distance that the, the coverage team got yeah. wasn't as much of a factor. Oh, there's a flag on the play now. I did not see. He's over on the sideline. It looked like they called a hold on the Titans. That might be true because there, okay. there were some people uh, You know what? Down. They were huddled around with the coach. Now they're pointing. Now they are going to mark it back. So instead of the 45, even more important, pick it up. We'll start at the 35, 65 yards away from tying it up with 2.47 to go. Now, the Titans have had the ball most of the quarter, and they're going with the wind. Well, this is the first time they haven't started inside the yes. 50 after in this uh, quarter. There's the give to Salman, and he breaks a tackle. He's out. He's going to have 10-plus. Give him 13 out to yeah. about the 48. And that was the first time since the early in the game they, they did that it John nice. found a hole here. And he that was a nice Ryan D. Bernardo got up in the hole and got a piece of a linebacker that certainly helped. And they also trapped. They were running a nice little trap this way. So first and ten at the 48. Takes away any damage the penalty did. D. Bernardo in motion sets. Straight ahead, Salmon. Salmon breaks another big one. Down the middle, straight ahead, inside the 35. Wow. Did that open yes, up? Yes, that was nice. He hits the hole as fast as any back I've yeah. ever seen. We look at it again, and there's the pull, and it was Julius Manning that trapped and right up off his butt and cut it straight ahead and big gain. 34 yards and two carries to, for Salmon this series. He got a third try and not going to be as successful. And I think the Titans are going to be very fortunate not to get called for illegal motion there because I think our wing wasn't set. I don't see a flag. No, there wasn't, which means he could still be moving <laughs> if he's not moving forward, and he's the only one moving. Trips to the near side, Salmon and Davis. Second eight, Titans behind the sticks here. Let's see what the philosophy is. Single receiver is to the far side. He looks this way over the middle, tosses it, uh -huh. intercepted. Picked off there by Cavell Caver, and he gets back outside. There's a flag down on the plate, there by the way. There is a flag down over the middle where the ball was. Now, this is going to be an interesting yes, one. Yes, it is. I mean, I think it's going to help the Titans either a hold after the interception or a hold before the interception. They're discussing it over. Their the flag is on the 20. Hold holding against them. At the point of interception. Well, now, was it post post possession? Apparently. So the march is going to go from the 20 to the 10, but it's still going to be Garfield Heights ball. There's the interception, and there's the tackle. <laughs> it was one of the yes. wide receivers trying to help out. Trying his, to help yeah. out and just got taken down. So Garfield Heights with their second interception of the quarter and stops Lorraine again in scoring position. More pressure for the Titan defense. Big hole that time for Benison. Breaks it in Gar Garfield Heights first first down of the half in their fourth possession. 
Couldn't have come at a better time for them as they started that on the 10. Now is oh, that's shoes. I was going to say, is that a flag that I see? But it's yellow, yellow shoes. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long run. Uh, I think yeah, that might be his longest run. 19 yards. Had some nice carries early, but that's the first one in the second half. Like I said, first first down of the of the half. Go back to Benison. And he's going to have a short gain out across the 30 to the 31. Interior of the Titan defense is there. This defense has really played inspired football. Here's a, what's that down now? There's a flag on the field. It's going to be against the Titans or it, something. It had to be pre-snap for it to be spotted there. So it's first down and four. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not sure what that one was. I, I'm having a heck of a time picking up who's signaling. Straight back, wanting to throw, running for his life, hit, and bounces it in toward a receiver. Kimball was right there. And now we do we have another yeah. flag. Yeah. I heard someone Personal yell. Personal foul against the Titans. It's going to be roughing the passer, I guess, because that's the only players that were there. <clears throat> and I don't know. I turned when he threw the ball to see the results, so I don't know if there was. If you look at the replay, I think you're going to see he was being grabbed before he threw the ball. It wasn't like they got hit. Well, it, But did he throw him? Well. Now, I, I, I'm glad that I'm having, I'm not the only group having trouble seeing what's oh, going I, no, on. No, I seen what was happening. After he was being grabbed, someone else came okay, from. Okay, is that what yeah, it was? Yes. That Garfield Heights was ready to go up and run a play. They didn't know there was a penalty. It wasn't the person who had the hold of the quarterback, so I can understand. Yeah. So the spot was the 35. That should take it out to the 50. Yeah, right there, round it off. Yep, and it's first and 10. First and 10, Garfield at the midfield stripe. So now there's another whistle. And I think the Titan coaches want an explanation now. I think that the mistake that we have here is that we pay by the hour. <laughs> <laughs> so now they're going to come over to the sideline. and. Ex So, action has totally stopped here with 44 seconds. And, you know, for good or for, for, good or for bad here, Garfield Heights has managed to turn the field over after the Titans spent most of the third quarter, you know, threatening the end yes. zone. They're out at the 50 with the ball. So the, court, the Titans need a quick strike defensive play here. Now the head official is running over now to talk to the Garfield coach. Or to oh, his, to his, his compadres. To, uh, yes. Okay. I don't think, I, I guess everybody understands, well, they might not all agree. How about that? Mm -hmm. Worman has him set. He's got Benison, Benford, and there's the give. And now they've gone back to what worked for them early on, puts his hand on the, on the turf yes. and gets an extra four or five out of it down to the 40. That's going to be just short of a first down. I was kind of hoping it would be a first down because this opens up the whole playbook. Ah, a second and Second two, and one. One, yes. I'd be looking for where Ben 
is lined up. Well, I would certainly want to know where Ben is and where my man Potts, number yeah. 13, is. And they're going to let the clock run out. So we've played three at the George, and Garfield Heights got to feel like they stole a quarter here because Lorraine had the ball in scoring position, but it's still 14 for Garfield, eight for Lorraine. Back with the third, fourth quarter after this timeout. What kind of Titans are we? This is a question we have to ask ourselves every day as we walk these halls. In Lorraine City Schools, we are passionate about kindness. We believe one simple act of kindness can start the movement that changes the world around us. As a school, our positive behavioral intervention and support approach, or for short, PBIS model is rooted in kindness. Our goal as a school is to increase our students and staff's kindness to self, kindness to others, and kindness to our environments. When we increase kindness in our school, we will decrease the behaviors that interfere with the positive environments we want in every school in our district. Let's see what that looks like in our buildings. The expectation of kindness in our school starts the moment you begin your day. Upon entering classrooms, it is important that we remember to be on time, be prepared and have technology and supplies ready, be engaged and maintain a clean classroom, our Titan expectation to be kind to self, kind of others, and kind to our environment extends to the hallways, in our restrooms, in the main office, in the cafeteria, and on. Back here for the start of the fourth quarter, Garfield Heights second and one. Gibbs straight ahead. That was Cook, the, the backup running back who appears to have just Got yeah. enough for the first down. Tom, this is a huge, huge series. Parker, how's things on the sidelines, buddy? Parker didn't hear me. Okay. We'll try to get Parker's attention. He's visiting with Jace Wilt. <laughs> first and 10, Garfield Heights at the 40. Worman has set back next to him. It looks like it's Cook still wants to throw. Got a nice block from Cook, throws it into double coverage. Picked off. Titans with that quick turnaround play. And guess who? Number five, John and, Salmon. And I see a Titan down, but I don't know what that was all about. That was the other man on the coverage, Rico Anderson, who was back there in We'll get a look at it here. Turnabout's fair play as Garfield picked Lorraine off twice. And Solomon just went up and out muscled uh, the Garfield receiver and brought it back out near the 29-yard line. Looks like that's Rico over there. That uh, is Rico Anderson from Lorraine who was down. He was the other Titan on the, the coverage there. And all we could th see was the three players come yeah, together, yeah. and Solomon was able to high point the ball and make the catch. And from there, the action moved. So whatever, and it's good to see that Rico's no, up and, now. Oh, jogging off, yeah. I <laughs> hope it was just a cramp. Yeah, just, yeah. He's back. He said, but now i got to come out. I can't play offense this play. And he's sporting pink gloves. <laughs> <laughs> This October that we wear pink. That was always a cancer kind of uh, yes, thing. Yes, it's the yeah, breast, yeah. Cancer. breast cancer awareness yeah. month is October where you see the pink socks mm -hmm. and the pink cleats mm -hmm. and sometimes you see the volleyball and soccer teams in pink jerseys. Yes. Officials sometimes did it. I think yep. my wife had to wear something a few times. First and 10 for the Titans. Almost got the old Steelman in there. Salmon yeah. straight ahead for about three with 11-17 in the ball game. Now, if this were wrestling, Tom, a sport that you know way more about than I do, Lorraine's way ahead on riding time at this point, <laughs> yeah. aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that doesn't help. No, it doesn't. It doesn't help in uh, high school wrestling anymore, yeah. nor in football. It's what goes on the scoreboard. Yep. Straight ahead, Solomon. 
Runs through a couple arm tackles, and he's out near the 39. He's going to be about a half yard short of the first down. It's going to be third and one. Now, this is the defense where Garfield always loads up the box. Well, and, it, you know, this is the situation where the spread offense doesn't do a lot no. for you because you can't run a quarterback sneak from, no. <laughs> from the gun. But look at the box. Oh, yeah. The linebackers it's, are filling the A-gaps. Yeah, LEL defense. We're going to yeah, run it, one. We're gonna, there's a whistle. Dead ball. Delay a game against Lorraine. So instead of being fourth down, and Tom, well, you know what? Uh, while we were talking, they must have signaled Lorraine got a first down because that was a first and 10 play. Oh, I never saw a signal. So it's going to be first and 15 as the Titans had delay a game. And the, the interesting thing about huh. that is it couldn't have been a clock issue because that's not the man that keeps the time. He's behind <laughs> the defense. <laughs> so it had to be another one of those penalties that they use that signal for. What could it have been? Mouth guard? Uh, I don't, you know, uh, I mean, okay. I know it could have been an equipment thing, but I have no idea what it was. DiBernardo motions, changes the strength. That that snap took a long time, and the Titans yeah. are going to lose for, a couple. They'll pay for that, yes. So now we're at second and 17, a situation we managed to avoid most of the third quarter. And we're not in four-down territory. So we'll see what they dial up here as... They signal the play in. Davis is happy. Another going to go long. Got a man. Got T, wants T.J. Williams. T.J. That was miscommunication because yeah, T.J. Yeah. stopped. And yeah. Chase was expecting a go. But he was well covered. He was well covered. Yeah. But he was. That's there. where when you're one on one, you've got to make a move and, and either make that man hold you or get around him. And I don't see Rico Anderson out on the field. He has not though, come so, back yeah. this series. He's on the bench drinking water, uh, talking to one of the athletic trainers. Third and 17. Tylen Taylor and Hyro Williams are out wide on the far side. T.J. Williams is re single receiver near side. De Bernardo the flank. Salmon back there. And this is taken forever. And timeout, Lorraine. You got to get this play right. Even if they don't make it, you're not in four down territory if they don't. They no, got, and, and they got to get a good punt off if if they don't make it. Right, and and you're punting into the wind. Yes. So we'll see what they can dial up here. Third and sixteen, and it has been all Lorraine in the second half. But the halftime score was fourteen to eight, and that's what it is now. You know, Tom, it's always fun to scoreboard watch on Friday nights. And because, you know, we are live, but we're also replayed through the week, it's kind of it's kind of silly for us to talk about partial scores and things. But, uh, you know, the one thing I'm looking, I always, this is the thing I look for first now when I look at high school scores. How is Ravenna doing? Yeah, okay. Because they're our win. Yeah. And we get second-level points, and right now they're leading Akron Coventry nine to nothing. You know what's funny? I looked them up today. I think they had two wins going into this. Uh, oh, into I, this week. yes, I'm sure they did. That's you know yeah. that's what's got us at 15 instead of 16. <laughs> High snap. Davis just has no chance. That, that no. Not sure if we've had a change at center. No, it doesn't look like we're still yeah. the same. So that series was doomed as losses on all three downs make it fourth and 18. Now, I would not be surprised at all to see Maple Heights or to see Garfield Heights send everybody but the trainer because they got a finger on one that led to their score right before the end of the half. And that, now we're going into the wind. This so was, it's doubtful yeah. that we're going to get a. a a lengthy putt, or punt. 
from Diaz. Good snap, one step, gets it away. Got it away under, but it's gonna bounce just across the 48 and go nowhere except back. So they're gonna start on the bad side of the 50 as far as Lorraine's concerned. And there's a flag, what in the world? Uh, it's gonna be on Garfield Heights. And there was nobody around but three Garfield Heights players. Jacquez Lawson, number nine, is walking, around, walking off, holding his hands up in the air. And, you know, like he was unsportsmanlike oh conduct against Garfield Heights. Could have been a block late as the ball was bouncing There was around. not a Titan within 20 yards. It had to be verbal is all I can tell you. What do you say on a punt that's <laughs> bouncing around? I, you know, if that was that, and then that was interesting. The man bent over and picked up his flag on, on the way by and actually gave us a 16-yard mark off <laughs> as they'll be right at the 35-yard line in the football theory of rounding <laughs> off. <laughs> so Titans catch a bit of a break on the short punt and, and the gift penalty. It had to be verbal. There was nobody around there. There couldn't have been a Titan that heard what he said. That's how far <laughs> away from all the players he was. There's motion. Hit. Oh, oh, he hit the motion man. There's something different. Isn't that a live ball? Well, it would have been, but they were in. They they had moved illegally. Oh, their receiver okay. on the far side just saved them a catastrophe, <laughs> because in things you don't see every day. The motion man got hit in the back of the head with the snap. <laughs> so that's going to cost them five, but, you know, for their benefit, they didn't lose a chance to have a fumble. And loss of five was about as good as that play was going to end up with that ball bouncing around out there. Trips to the near side, single set or single receiver 30 yards to the far side. Quarterback keeps. This is the – this is – the Wildcat, and that is Cameron Smith, number 10, who makes a living as a wide receiver and a defensive back in this game, but he is the Wildcat QB. Now, the thing, the, the, the issue that I have with the Wildcat is it severely limits what you can do. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think it'd yeah. be easier to finding a running quarterback than just to put somebody different back there other than as, you know, surprise, but because now everybody sees every play. You kind of guess exactly what he's going to do. He's going right. to sweep the ball because he's your best athlete. Right. I mean, that's the theory of that. Now, Worman, who was split 30 yards out to the side, now timeout Garfield Heights. As I'm not sure what happened, but there was an excited Titan out there because he picked up something wrong. And so did at about the same time as the Garfield Heights coaching staff. See the same thing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So second and 15 is where we are. 7.29 to go in the ball game. Titans down six. One play away. I see pink gloves out in the huddle, so I think that means Rico Anderson is getting back into the defense. I don't see him on the sideline anymore. Uh, he may just be talking in the huddle because they look like there's more than 11. And I'll tell there. you what, I went to all the scrimmages yeah. and stood on the sideline, and Rico can do some talking. <laughs> <laughs> He's out there. He's the cornerback yeah. on the far side with the pink mittens on. Well, they have 11 over here. That's the Tylen Taylor, Taylor covering, covering Benz. He had his job cut out for him. There's the, the old uh, cross buck yeah. from the shotgun, and it was with the uh, – Motion man gives straight ahead, and Benison got the penalty yards and one more backs, but it's going to be third and nine. Now, the Titans' defense has excelled on third down in this second half. Knock on wood. Let's hope that we can keep that alive. Michael Benison is next to Noah Worman. Three receivers to the short side. And that's he's looking over the middle. He's got a man off oh. his shoulder. That was Ben, and it and hit the it. shoulder pads. Yes. 
and didn't stay up in the air long enough for a Titan to get there. But the Titans once again hold on third down. Four possessions and four Garfield Heights punts in this first quarter and a half of the second half. Titans haven't been able to capitalize. Now they get to kick with the wind. O'Neal is the punter. Now the trick here now is to get the ball up high and let the wind kind of carry it. Uh, and the trick for the Titans is we got to catch the ball. Yes. Don't we let it roll. We don't want to yeah. let it roll. There's the slap. Decent. That's a oh. sidewinder. Let's see which way. It's going to backpedal. He's not going to kick for the first down. Ball went out at the 43, so a seven-yard punt. That and, was his worst punt. Well, and, and Tom, yeah. you know, we, we talked about it on the kickoff where he yeah. doesn't take a lot of an angle and kind of side yes. sidewinders it, and he sidewindered that one. You don't never sidewind a punt. <laughs> you know, he, yeah. he kicked the side of the football is what happened. Yeah, he might have been trying to angle it he, or yeah. something like that. That that happens. But, but that's, could, that's Lorraine's best – uh, field position this half is well it? no because we started inside the 20 a couple times we, we on the okay. on the on the short on the fumble yes oh and yeah then I, on the unsportsmanlike i mean after the punch yeah, after yes the, after but this is yeah. this is a lot better than it could have been first and 10 at the garfield 43 632 to go how many chances can you get davis solomon nothing yeah, see, They're just too many. Garfield is the sky. I mean, I think on first down, they have eight in the box, no safeties. Well, now, they, now they're going to put two safeties back there. You know, they're, they're, they're well, calling defensive they're, plays. They're daring us to throw the yeah. ball on first down. See, again, they're disguising it, though. You don't know if someone's going to scooch out to safety. And, and, you know, the interesting thing is we just busted a couple first down runs on the last series. Yeah. Second and 12. John Solomon, one of the area's leading rushers. See, now they have. Yeah. High snap. Gets it out here to Hiro. Hiro makes a move. Hiro's inside the 35. Close to down the first near down. Down near a first down. That's what Hiro Williams brings to the table. Don't expect him to go up and win a jump ball. <laughs> <laughs> but put him out in space, and he's kind of fun to watch. Well, he ran half that play backwards. Yeah. When he caught this, I thought it was doomed. And just a great downfield block for Ryan DiBernardo there. He stuck, stuck with his man long enough to give Hyro a chance to cut in behind him. And they gave him the first down. Okay, first and 10, Lorraine. So you look at this they, is the Wildcat. This is Salmon. Eight in the box. With Kimbrough next to him. He's going to follow Osir. He's inside the 30 to the 28. Now, okay, you told him it was going to come because you took your quarterback yeah, yeah, out. Yeah. And, and now are you going to stick with it? Chase is not on the field. So are you going to stick with it? Yeah, you are. Interestingly enough... Solomon's back there with Kimball. Now he moves Osir up even with him. Follows him again into the hole. Has a big hole. And all the well, way. All the way. Solomon all the way down to the two. Oh. Hey, Osir Kimball, nice block. Nice block. <laughs> I don't know if he hit anybody, but he was. Oh, there. my yeah, goodness. Got, I yes, didn't he, see it. Yeah. Okay. He got it. You know, he did enough. Let's watch this replay. You don't then. have yeah. to blow somebody up to be no. credited with a nice block. And he went in there and just enough and then followed him down and got the downfield guy. It wasn't a vicious block, but no. it was a screen. So first and goal at the two. Salmon straight ahead. Salmon stopped just short. Well, they were about at the inch line. There, You can't get any closer, but you can't sneak. They don't have anybody that goes up under center, no. do they? Dang, dang, dang. Yeah, this is this is where you want to just pinch. Yeah. <laughs> First, second and goal from the from the half yard line. Salmon straight ahead, and John Salmon is stopped short again. Never got moving forward. 
one of the, the Bulldog defenders got some penetration and got him off his line, and he never got the shoulder square to the – he's going to probably lose a half yard on that one. You can see how close we are down there with Marquintes cam. <laughs> As he and Parker are down there. Parker, can you hear me? Yes, I can. You take this one. Oh, okay. Here we you, go. You got him. Okay, so we're keeping Solomon in here. Yep. Wildcat formation. Oh, see to the right. Snap back, fakes the handoff, takes to the right side, up and in. To the house! You see they, they ran their lead blocker left, draw the linebackers in, and then Solomon just kind of trotted in over the right, right side without a lead blocker. Well, you know what, Tom? This is my fault. I've been calling all these things, and these scoring positions, <laughs> we got to give the ball to Parker. Parker, keep it for the two-pointer. Oh, okay, here we go. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> You know, it's interesting. I was debate. I was wondering if they were going to kick it here or not. Uh, interestingly enough, yep. they are going to kick yes, it. Yes, they are. Reggie Johnson, we're tied at 14. All right, D. Renato, the holder. So much of this is on the snap. The timing between the three. Reggie. Look how many people are coming from that right hand, that left hand side. It's all about the timing. Whistle, timeout. Twine call. We danced without music. We're going to go back five. Now, does this change the strategy? If he can make it from the three, he can make it from the eight. Well, but <laughs> it, certainly, it, cer it certainly makes the two-point try a lot harder because yeah, yeah. now you've got to go from the eight. I mean, I think it affects the odds less on the kick than it does on the, on the, on trying the play to run from scrimmage. Yeah, exactly. We had a Reggie Chan on the sideline here for the kicker. Okay. <laughs> Look at this blitz coming in from the left side. Look at this excitement on the Titans' sidelines. I want this so bad for these kids. Snap back. Hold good. Down, up, and... Yes! He's got paint on it. <laughs> okay, that takes Lorraine into the lead. He got paint on it because that hit crossbar. <laughs> But with 3.11 to go, the football gods smile on Lorraine. Now can you hold on, fellas? we got to play some defense. Now can you hold on because to this point, you've been playing, you know, from behind, and Garfield Heights has been playing with the lead. Now they have a sense of urgency. Those officials are <laughs> going to have something to talk about after the game <laughs> about how hard and low that <laughs> kick was. Here it is. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> if that was a soccer goal, he might have hit the crossbar. That's how. <laughs> so we'll take it. 15 14, Lorraine, 3 11 to go. And. Can you say there's a chance? Now, there's something I also want to point out. Please. While Garfield Heights has been pretty solid game, their yep. passing game has been struggling, and this is a very yep. obvious passing situation for them. Well, we have to make sure that they do. They burned us once with the pass, but aside from that, it has not been their strength. Now, they have... Three or two timeouts and three minutes and 11 seconds. And the reason one's as good as two, Tom, is they haven't had a placement even thought about. Right. So Reggie Johnson will put it in play. He's been skidding it along the turf. Last time he kicked, he kept them inside the 20. There it goes again, bounces away inside the 20. It stays Still in bounce. Three, 15-yard line picked up there. Now you got to make a tackle. Oh, Titans grabbing at the football. There, there's an excited uh, group of kids out there. Three I'll tell you what, Tylen Taylor knew what to do in that scrum <laughs> because he was tugging and pulling at that thing. He was not trying to make the tackle. No, 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 no. no. First man holds, second man football. So the rounding off theory will start him at the 25, I would guess. Okay, so they must have really been short <laughs> to start at the 24. 
First and 10, 301. Titans by one. Homecoming. Last Saturday or last Friday in September. What a setting. I'd look for my man Ben because he is well, one of the I'm not premier gonna, receivers. I'm not going to give up on Benison first. Okay, they're going to throw the bubble screen. That's Smith. Smith has a yard, maybe two. Meet the defense night for Cameron Smith as they're all there. There were eight of them on that. Everybody but Tylen Taylor out here and Rico Anderson far to the far side were involved in that somehow. Clock ticking were 235 and under. Second and seven. The reason the clock begins to be an issue is you got to think that they might not get it back. Straight back. Under pressure, lofts it out here, has a man, bobbled it. Bobbled and they, it. And it called incomplete. No, incomplete. And, uh, you know, Co <laughs> Coach Wilt on that sideline was juggling imaginary <laughs> footballs. Showing and, his and, he, yeah. and he was right there, and they called it incomplete. Now the offense has moved up to the spot. Let's see what happens here. Okay, they're taking it back. The clock is stopped on the incompletion. Third and seven. This is four down territory, I got to believe. Well, it's not, except for the clock. Well, that that's situation. what I mean. Yeah. yeah, sure. Garfield Heights, five and one. Lorraine, one and five. Homecoming night for Lorraine High. How could you get any more exciting? Back to pass. Stepping up in the pocket, launching a long one. Got a man out there. Titans. Titan, there wasn't interference. Was there a flag somewhere? I think the man went out of bounds and came back in. Was the original. Now, no. whatever. See, there's a flag at the 40-yard line. Now, I don't know where they're going to go, but I know that that play is not going to start from there. No. Pass interference, Lorraine. Okay, so we go back and we mark 15 yards off and we put it in play with 2.02 yeah. to go. And instead of on the 20, 28, they're on the 43. High school football is not pro. It's not yeah. spot of the foul, just like the colleges. You mark it off from the line of scrimmage, the most you can get is 15. So we do that. 43-yard line, first and 10, 2.02 to go. We just, that way, I think that was Rico, and he just never got his head around. No. And to know it was coming, and he was bumping, you know, he never, never turned and ran with the receiver. He was running toward the receiver. Straight ahead, Benison, there's a flag inside. I think this one's going to come back for holding. Gets across the 50 to the 46. Noah Buchanan shoulders him out, but there's a flag back at the line of scrimmage. Holding oh. against Garfield. So that gets 10 of the penalty yards back and takes eight seconds off the clock. So now it's gonna be first and 20. Okay. Now and that changes the playbook because obviously yeah. they feel comfor comfortable with Benison. But now they won't with 20 yards to go. Now with 20 yards to go, they have to. Yeah. I'm trying to look here for some of Garfield's previous scores, Tom, now, yeah, to I see how I many close games they've been in. Straight back, lots of time over the middle. First down and more. They had, an Cameron they, Smith. Had an, they had an overtime last two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, they beat Maple Heights in overtime. Okay. 16-10 last week over Shaker. So they're, they're accustomed. 46-38, the yeah. they had a game that they won. And 16-15, they won their opener over Eastlake North. Timeout for the injured Bulldog. 
Teams come to the sideline. A minute 48 to go. High school sports, boy. Yeah. Just, when, just when you think it's got you, it lures you back in. And the Titans dominated the third quarter time of possession. Had the ball seemingly the whole period inside the red zone. Couldn't score. And all of a sudden, a little inspiration and a dose of Wildcat. And John Solomon broke some plays and finally got in the end zone on third and goal from the one. Uh, player is up, and that is the receiver, Smith, being helped off. So first and 10 from the 42, a minute 48 to go. Two timeouts for Garfield Heights. Titans plus one on the scoreboard. Well, you got to... I mean, everyone's praying for a turnover, but you still got to play just, defense. If you don't get it, you still got to play. You know, you got to put ball. And there's Benison, Benison back in the game, straight ahead, first down. Going to stop the clock down to the 30. There's another flag on the play, and that looks like it's going to be another hold. So down to a minute 37, Tom, and instead of. Second and short, we're going to walk back to <laughs> first and <laughs> I don't 20. know if you just saw that. <laughs> I did not. I did not. One of the Titans' defensive linemen, Julius Manning, patted <laughs> the official on the back as he went by. <laughs> like good call? Well, yeah, it was like it was a good good job, sir. <laughs> he was holding me. Yeah, I'm sure you know, it was said. classic. So now it's first and 18 on the 50. Clock is in motion. Going to launch it. Launches it. Titans have two back there to a single receiver. Rico Anderson stride for stride. T.J. Williams on the way from his safety spot. That was well covered. Well, you can't complain about that. No one touched him because yep. they were just covering him. Second and 18. And we got a playoff without a penalty. Well, the Titans are playing strictly three rush, eight cover. In Yeah. Well, they might blitz somebody this play. I got to believe that we're going to see more than three. It's just where, where are they coming from? Trips to the near side, single receiver, and they've liked that side. Straight back, stepping up, under, under pressure, getting away. Going to launch over the middle. Got a man. Guess who? Tommy Ben. Yep. Reception and out of bounds in First down, a minute 12 to go. You had to be a magician as a quarterback to get out of that rush. And what happened is somebody exhaled yeah. downfield. Uh, you know, it's just that when you see the quarterback running around, you're more worried about the quarterback than the receiver. Yes. First and 10 at the 28. Minute 12. Clock stopped on the out of bounds. High snap. Benison. Benford. Pulled down, gain of about three, down to the 25. Now the question, Clark are they going to call a timeout? Un we'll go under a minute here as They're they not spot the call ball. Second and six. Trips to the near side. Single receiver out to the far side is Lawson. Straight. At, that's quarterback keep. you got to keep them in bounds. Uh, they, they didn't. They didn't. Okay. Out of bounds and probably had a first down. Nope. Going to say he's out of bounds at the 21. So it's going to bring up third and four. Well, let's make it third and three. They've got to get to about the 18. Obvious four down territory. There are 46 seconds to go. Garfield Heights not in any hurry anymore because they've got two timeouts in their pocket and they're close. So the whole playbook is in effect. Whistle, timeout, Lorraine. Coach Watley wants to go out and talk to his defense. I think they want to find out. This is the first time I've seen Ben over on the left offensive side right. rather than on the right offensive side. So they got something planned they for him. They were running him. They've been, they've been having great success with him crossing underneath. Yes, yes. After they cleared out. Now they put him on the single side. Where he did, he was on that side on the long pass that was pass interference. Okay. But so it's third and three. Titans just need a stop now to get out of here. So 
So we'll see how it goes as the two teams get some final instructions. So here we go, third and three. Two receivers to each side now. That's Ben outside. They've got a wing back on that side. Coming back against motion is Benison. Benefit. Benef yeah. Benison, excuse me, down inside the 15 to the 14. Stopping the, there's a flag. It, it, it's it's going to be something on Bedford, or on Garfield. Uh, Garfield. Bulldogs. I went B and I wanted Bulldogs. <laughs> Have we potentially set a record for most flags on one drive here? Well, we had a parade, and parades are, <laughs> you know, before the game, and parades do get a lot of flags. So I think it's going to be a hold, and it's going to take it back and make it third and seven because it's a spot of the foul penalty. They take it 10 from where it happened. So now we're at 40 seconds. I'm not sure why the clock is stopped. Yes. Snap back is clean. Pressure, throw incomplete intended for Tommy Ben. Fourth down and seven. Do you see the excitement on a fourth and eight play? Everyone's yelling for, come on, keep up the crowd. Thir 35 seconds to go. Titans by one. Titans haven't won a home game in four years, Tom. Yeah. They didn't yeah. have a season and then... Last year they didn't <laughs> they, win. Last year they didn't win, and they haven't till, won at home this year. Till Shaw. So it's been four years. Fourth and eight. Snap is back. Pocket is clean. Now running for his life. Setting, throwing. Intercepted. It's going to be picked. T.J. Williams intercepts at the 10, and the Titans are going to win. Well, well. <laughs> Now you still got to snap you the gotta, ball twice. Yes. But look at this. Now get off the field, uh, fellas. You know, all that is going to get penalized. Oh, all yeah. that is going to get penalized. And, and it only takes two to lose. You got to get every coach out there to get them back out of there and say, let's play football yeah, the clock, for 24 you know, seconds. They have two times out. Yeah, get excited after the time, after the clock goes to zero. Now, what are you looking at here offensively? I want the Wildcat because I want my toughest hombre with the ball. And I don't want him to run up the middle. I mean, he can just uh, get up there and stop at the line, because you know they're going to Well, I want him to I want him to take the snap, just like he did on the goal line, put two hands on the ball, well, yeah, yeah. and go forward. But he's had to do this three times, because they're going to call timeout right. both times. Right. And you got to get, you know, I mean, you've got to snap first. Yeah. Let's see. I see Chase, Chase Davis out there. So he's going to take the snap. Who's, he's more used to it. They have to be good snaps. I mean, everything has to still happen. Now they're going to mark off 5, 10, 15. For what? No. Well, Let's that's, see, it's see. a big one against Garfield. I mean, it has to be on sports. First like and 10 at the... 26, and this sure helps the margin of error. What was the? I don't. But now you have enough room to kneel down. Chase Davis takes the snap, takes a knee at the 20. And the clock's still running. Yeah, Garfield Heights is not going to call timeout. In this bizarre year and a half of football, Tom. Wow. And why wouldn't you call timeout? I mean, I mean, I don't think I've ever seen anything to top this. Just when you think you've seen it all, mm -hmm. high school sports can surprise. Listen, listen to the crowd. <laughs> I am so excited for these kids and these coaches 
that this was the game. There, this yeah. is five and one and one and five. Yeah. And the Titans with a game plan and a defense that just held time after time. And, it, you know, yes. you, you didn't think they were going to get any more chances when it got stopped all those times in the third quarter. Now, the offense outscored them, but I give all the credit to the defense all in this it. game. Yes. All of it. Because you gave up two points to a team that was 5-1 and one coming in. Okay, a team that had been used to winning close games goes down. And Lorraine goes to 2-5 and five on the season at Shaker next week. Do you Parker. Remember, yeah, do you remember the – let's let Park talk. Parker, you down there, buddy? Yes, I am. Is it kind of exciting? Uh, just a, just a little bit, you know. It's uh, you know, I'll be uh, I'll be grabbing T.J. Williams, uh, John Solomon, and Reggie Johnson. Cool. Do you remember at the very first game we talked about when he came home? We said Garfield was a winnable game, right? And we said Shaker was a winnable game. Garfield Shaw was a winnable game. Garfield yeah. Heights is the surprise of the league. Yes, they are at five and one. Yes. Now. This is going to be the surprise of the league. <laughs> yeah. When people were watching, uh, I'm going to I'm going to yeah. wait for Parker. But while I, while we do, Parker and Marquintes, TV 20 alums, are down there on the field, uh, getting the shot. But I want to thank Drake Hans, Karen Gallegos, Devin Hood, Jeffrey Torres of Homecoming Court fame, and Alyssa Tucker for all they did all night up here in the booth to get the shots that you enjoyed, as well as down on the field, recent graduate Parker Capronica and four years ago graduate Marquintez Graham. Thank you guys for being down there. Coach Creel makes a big thing of everybody in the circle, referring to the shield in the logo. Not a problem tonight. You just imagine what the coach is saying to this group, as excited as they were for the last, what, two minutes, three minutes? Uh, yes. You, and you know what? It? Yeah. Lorraine High's in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> and they may move up a little bit where they don't get. Do Print the one, shirts. One or two. Maybe print the, the shirts. It'd be nice if they get down there where they pick up like maybe five or six on the list. Yeah, somebody different. Well, I can see them right now. They're saying, bring on St. Ed. No, I don't think that's <laughs> what they're saying. They're saying, let's celebrate. <laughs> Joe, how long do you want to stick with us here? Do you want to? What's that? Here's he's Parker. Gonna, he's he's going to try, but I don't know that they're going to get out of the circle anytime it soon. Might, it might be a while. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's from Parker. So let's let, let's wrap it up from here, because I want these kids to celebrate with one another as much as they have a chance. I'm sorry about that, Parker. No worries. But for Parker Capronica and Mark Quintes Graham on the ground for the t Club TV 20 crew in the air for Joe Bach and Terry Trout for my partner Tom Bauer. I just want to remind everybody it is a great time to be a Titan.